Beginning to look a lot like Chunks Murs Everywhere you go Take a look at featured and subs This post is kick out repo right, so no profile uh, Welcome back everyone to our latest episode of the Dude Down Podcast That is very delayed but hey here we are again Who says it's and, delayed? And uh the schedule says it's delayed. Fuck. The fans are already all crying. Yeah, all two of them. But don't worry. This is a Christmas theme one, so we're good. Yeah. Dude, Christmas miracle. Uh, I'm back. You struggled through the word miracle. Your your second favorite podcast member is back. Um, but we lost one member. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rest in peace, Diego Messina. He's not here. The number keeps yeah. dropping. Oh, yeah. and uh, Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we forgot about it. Forgot about it. No, yeah, I mean he talks about Star Wars. Can we just like <laughs> neglect it? So yeah, point? unfortunately, won't, there won't be any thank you, Lewis jokes in this one. Unfortunately, I only be fuck oh. you, Alan's maybe. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Dude, is this, is this the second time Messina died this year? <laughs> oh, <laughs> is this the second time he's dead? Second time, or is this like the first time it's canon? No, he's just re- he's just gonna respond. It's no big deal. Nah, he's just MIA. Uh, okay. He's not you, Spartan. You, Get out of here. You you, uh, you know what that means? What? He MIA. flies like paper. <laughs> gets high like planes. No. <laughs> Fuck, that was actually good, dude. Um, I probably blew out the audio there. Yeah, you really yeah. did. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> you, you're like a big difference Anyways, now. this is the Christmas special podcast. Our chunk light Christmas special. Yeah, the, the Merry chunk. Chunk miss. The chunk light Christmas Special extravaganza. Jesus chunk died for our chunk, our chunk sins, our chins, our chunk and savior. <laughs> Chunkins. Uh, I don't even know what the fuck episode this is. What since, be, what since be a fat Jesus? Isn't this <laughs> Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's not here because he died for us. Oh <laughs> fuck. He he died for us when we pushed him off a bridge. Don't worry. He'll <laughs> <laughs> take him. He days rolled to respond. down. Dude. Fuck. He, yeah, he'll be back for the next. He rolled podcast down in the air. <laughs> <laughs> As he rolls in the air. Bro. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm surprised he didn't have a gravitational pull himself on the way down. This is the fucking. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> he bounced back. Uh, isn't this like nine? He, he this hit the floor, nine, he bounced right? back. This is episode nine. <laughs> he bounced back, like, landed straight in his feet. Oh, you know when you push down, like, a, a styrofoam ball in a pool? Yeah. And it, and it hits the bottom <laughs> and it goes, <laughs> boom. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what Lewis did. <laughs> He's watching us from above, literally. <laughs> he's in orbit now. <laughs> okay. He's, he's, he's oh going to hit the ISS real quick. He's just Fuck. rotating in mid air. I mean, fucking, there's no air in space. Fuck! Oh, Fuck it. It. He really did that for a sin. <laughs> Anyways, this is episode what eight? Since you didn't want to call the other one episode eight, even though it is canon. Oh, the other one's canon. Yes. Then why does it say it isn't canon? <laughs> well, I'm gonna change that. <laughs> Technically, this is episode nine, but you could call it whatever the fuck you want to call it. Well, let's get into some uh, some channel like updates. So hopefully, we'll be back with more consistent podcasts starting this month. <laughs> even though this one wasn't consistent, but and, and videos, but uh, and videos, yeah. But uh, next week, um, next week, is next it- month. The January podcast should be the last podcast for this um, season. Season, and the then, season went over, dude. And then, and then we'll we're gonna have a special podcast for uh, the month of February, and that will start. That will be the beginning to our new uh, uh, second season for the Chunk Light Media Podcast. But, but yeah, exciting things to come. Hopefully, you mean the Dude Down Podcast? Then hopefully, uh, more movie reviews. Hopefully, more other stuff. <laughs> not now that Fuck, movies mean, are actually coming out. Yeah. Well, kind of. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm actually, I'm actually oh, ex- well, we'll, excited for like movie theaters still reopen. Well, we'll, we'll get to that. All five of them. Our, yeah, because yeah. we'll have like stupid little adventures. And let's get right. You didn't introduce everyone else. Or you didn't mention your oh, name we entirely we, we the whole didn't, time. We didn't introduce, in, introduce ourselves. Who cares? They know who we are. We not, uh, whatever. Yeah. Bro, it's okay. me. Uh, I'm graphic resident designer. Uh, you no, you fucked wrong. it up. Right? Yeah. You're not even graphic. Oh. More designer. Oh. Be graphic. It's going to be R18 podcast right now. <laughs> Anyways, the people here, me, Diego. Not the Messina one. <laughs> not the Barone one. The yeah. Barone one. All right, uh, and me, Alan, because 
Fuck you. Who else is here? Uh, Aldo. Fact, Aldo, can Aldo. Sh- Aldo can shovel an iPhone. What? What do you have? Uh, it's like the plus eight. <laughs> what? <laughs> the big one. Aldo can shove a fucking iPhone. What eight plus? Eight plus XSL. A whole, the whole phone in his fucking mouth. All of it. The whole Without thing. even struggling. Or yeah, gagging. Dude. Or, or gagging. <laughs> D- DM me at... Uh, Aldo shoves his phone in yeah. his mouth. <laughs> it's a new channel. that has a million, a million subscribers. And I'll fool. I'll fool you too. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm <laughs> just disgusted right now. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's get into the news. <laughs> We'll start off with the iCarly revival. Give it! <laughs> Wait, that's, what? That's going, oh, to, yeah. that's going to streaming it's services. For, starring me? For Paramount or some shit Paramount? like that. Paramount? Wait, yeah. which streaming service is that? I don't know. Paramount Plus? I think it's actually called Paramount Plus. What? They have their own streaming service? What I makes think? it Plus? Uh, yeah, because it's online. Fuck, yeah. that's another streaming service I got to get now. I th- I thought <laughs> I thought for one plus show plus. that I'm probably going to watch like... Two episodes of yeah, okay. I'd be like, haha, I remember. <laughs> Watch well, it be the same, dude. Do you think it's gonna be the same intro? Nah, it's gonna no. be updated. I, I don't know, know, dude. It'd be nostalgic. It'll be nostalgic. It's not even, I mean, it's not that old. Uh, uh, it's all enough. Like, I'm pretty sure for you if, zoomers, like, if they kept the old intro, dude, as soon as like the episode started, everyone would lose their shit. Yeah, everyone would fucking yeah, everyone shit you know, and piss and come. If you didn't lose your shit, you're not a fan. Yeah, exactly. You're not a true hardcore fan, dude. If you, sh- if you don't know, I'm um, Carly's blood type. What is it? <laughs> what? <laughs> hmm? What? Is it? I don't know. I'm not a true fan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cherry. Did you know that she was uh, related to Spencer? Fuck. God, I hate you. That's right like now. in those 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 uh. 107 facts of, oh, the of blank and it says like the obvious is like so someone's fact number one and the uh, show is named iCarly because her the, name is Carly yeah. <laughs> and because her web show is called iCarly <laughs> <laughs> and you're the like fuck mind shit. blown dude what the <laughs> fuck I didn't know that shit it's only a handful of fuck, facts can't wait for fun fact number yeah. two yeah like there'll be like five out of like a hundred and something that are interesting like fuck like and I, didn't, like, really I actually obscure. didn't know that and that you have to be a real creep to figure out the Man, I didn't know Dan Schneider liked feet. (laughs) (laughs) It's like fact number 100 in every video. (laughs) But yeah, what do you guys feel? How do you guys feel about that iCarly revival? Uh, Good on them. Definitely hitting off the nostalgic points, honestly. Is it going to be the same cast? I think everyone but Miranda Cosgrove. I mean, what? fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? How are you going to have a revival without her? (laughs) It's going to be called I. (laughs) I Spencer. Fuck. No, Spencer's not gonna be part of it. No, it's uh, Spencer becomes a fucking cam girl. Sam, Sam. What's oh. her name? Oh, uh, Janet McCurdy. Janet McCurdy. She's gonna be. In I it? don't think she's gonna be in it. I didn't. I didn't read that she was gonna be in it. Oh, wow. All uh, I heard is that she, she got fucking Miranda Cosgrove. Uh, what's Spencer's name? Uh, oh, Spencer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Gibby. Something, something Jerry. And Jerry. Jerry. Jerry Springer. 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 <laughs> Springer. No, I think it's Seinfeld. No. No. Fuck. No. That's Jerry <laughs> Seinfeld. Bro. That's the Seinfeld guy. <laughs> Spencer That's Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld from Seinfeld, dude. Uh, Jerry Springer. Who else? Is, Freddie's there and Gibby. I don't know. I don't know though. Jerry Guppy. Trainer. There you go. Jerry, Jerry Trainer. I don't know if anyone else is gonna show up. Guppy. But Gibby. Gibby's back, dude. Bro, 30 year old Gibby. He oh, has fuck. You think Gibby? What do you think the parents gonna be? Maybe they're gonna have like kids now. Maybe like Spencer and like Carly get at it or some shit. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 Bro, when you said like kids and then you said uh, maybe Spencer and Carly, I thought you were gonna go a completely different way. <laughs> what do you mean? There's only one way to go. <laughs> it's maybe, maybe Gibby's gay. It's gotta be PC and like oh, super dude. progressive now. Oh, Gibby. Dude, what if Gibby's black now? <laughs> <laughs> no, Gibby's gay they and black. The, Call uh, him Gaby. R- Rachel Dolezal. Gaby? That would be fucking awesome, dude. No, Gaba. Like a. Uh, <laughs> he's a girl, too? No, oh, he's trying to. Like, like, he's hey, be like, he's hey, gay, Gaba. he's transgender, and he's black. He's, <laughs> <laughs> he's gay, transgender, black, and fat, dude. Oh! Marks off all, all the points in one character. <laughs> all in one character. It's a. That's a quad right Bro, there. The boardroom must have been like, "Fuck, we're being so progressive." <laughs> it's like, man, we don't, we, we don't fucking have to spend money man, on we actual fucking. The, we're nailing the casting other... bingo right now. Yeah, you know what? We're that, doing so f- good. That, Let's that, give ourselves raises. That's three other. That's three other actors that have to pay. 
Exactly. <laughs> they don't have to pay. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's a chance you could have given to a fucking starving black actor, but you give it to Gibby. <laughs> Gibby! Cuts to the gonna... homeless man on the side of the street with a cup, and he just Gibby fucking <laughs> body slams him. Yeah, yeah. I imagine it's gonna be like Sam Pepper series now, or like the iCarly series. Fuck, like, Sam oh. Pepper? Oh my oh, god, maybe, I heard that name maybe, in a long wait, time. How do you think they're gonna kill off Sam? <laughs> no, they're just gonna say they moved out of state, you know? Uh, they're probably no, she's probably like say she had, she's in juvie. Yeah, n- Baby. juvie at like thirty no, years old. No, because they had a spinoff series with the other <laughs> character from Victorious. Oh yeah, uh, Simon Cat. Yeah. yeah, that's what it was. That that was a spinoff. Dude, Simon Ariana Grande. Dude, Aria, <laughs> I can't believe Aria. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> Jenna, McCur- Jenna McCurdy got fucked by uh, Lamar Odom or some shit, right? Or the basketball that? player. Yeah, yeah. Who? She's been with a lot of guys. I don't know exactly. A lot of black guys, dude. Well, you know what they say. What do they say? Bet you you can't think of a, of a good original joke. Exactly. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Why, why, why would you even say that? Let, let, let's fucking move on. Yeah. Um, I, I'd get, probably watch it if just not get a whole streaming service just for it. <laughs> I'll just watch it on watchmovies.com. Yeah. That's probably the only thing they got going for them, that streaming service. Like, fuck, we're losing money. You know what? Game how, how come it isn't on Nickelodeon? Right? You think Because Nickelodeon's be. dying down. TV's dying down in general. Yeah. I, mean, I thought Nickelodeon had their own TV. streaming platform no. yeah nickelodeon oh wait no that reminds me they're doing an uh nfl special on nickelodeon for some reason what they're, they're gonna host an nfl game like it's like the game it's like the game before super, the super bowl, bowl nickelodeon <laughs> yeah it's like yeah it's like one of the major what tournaments the for the super bowl match so maybe, maybe what the fuck that's cool it's, it's like the it's that, this, that's not cool that's a fucking kids channel the fuck you want like the so, only no, people here, here, here's the funny thing they're gonna have a bunch of like special effects so it's gonna Cut out a bunch uh, of like faces, so like, it's like literally like censorship, and it's like style like censorship where you have like SpongeBob's like face in like the goalposts, and you also have like uh, smiley faces and eyes and like the and the people's like so faces a, in the tech, in the field. Okay. So, was it what is it exactly trying to do? Trying to get kids into football? Yes. Without getting kids into football, that sounds crazy. It's, it's, it's a lot of visuals <laughs> added to the game being played. I feel so like it's, so it's like football do. for like 80 And I imagine kids. also there'll be a big delay because technically there's a lot of times in the football games where people are swearing and like frustrated at, at the plays being made. And so I just imagine that it's going to be really so delayed is, and have like a lot of like be, swear words being mentioned. And this is going to be like SpongeBob's laugh at when every time they swear. No, it's like, going ah! to be some fucking mic'd up uh, a football player. And he's going to be like, oh, Barnacles. And like Mr. Krabs. <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Yeah. Krabs. A- a- every coach is going to be Mr. Krabs. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I, 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 I'm yeah, on ketamine th- right now. That that's like the one thing going on that I remember <laughs> for TV. That's weird. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, cool. What do you guys think of that Clifford the Big Red Dog movie? Oh, I didn't mean, I didn't mean hear it. It's CG. He, he heard about CG. that. Yeah. It's, it's CG. No, they obviously. actually got a big dog, dude. They, there's a real Clifford, and they, they shot him. I, I was hoping to be oh, like, man, a- please don't tell me it's CG. <laughs> Wait, uh, is it mixed between real, real I action? Think so it, yeah, because oh, it's, it's like live action. Yeah, it's live action. I it mean, should, it should be like full animation. It's just a, it should just be full. Well, Clifford animation. is want, animated. No, like, like full CGI fully. animated. I mean, like fully. he is fully CGI animated. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, every cast the whole thing. The also, whole everyone should have been CGI. Yeah. I want to take on my dick, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, or, you or mean hand drawn animation? Like uh, ja- Samurai Jack. Samurai. Just move on, dude. <laughs> You're not. Like, I want to update what? the visuals I, Clifford. I'm but trying not, like, to tell you what it really was. Like, You're talking about hand drawn animation, right? I'm saying. I'm saying. <laughs> You're saying everyone should be CGI then? It should be an animated movie. G- okay. Like a Tom CGI Jerry? animated movie. Dude, what? Or d- yeah, it doesn't have to be sure. CGI. It could also be hand drawn or. <laughs> no, like, like Tom and there Jerry, aren't right? any hand drawn animation. Yeah, like Tom and movies. Jerry, where it takes like five years to make an episode. Last one was like. No, I mean like the Princess and the Frog or some shit. No, we have a uh, studio. Jimmy. Oh no, Winnie the Pooh was the last. No, we have we have, Pooh. No, we have, we have Bro, Jimmy films. Up. Fuck off. Yeah. Anyways, Clifford he's begging. He's red. <laughs> yeah. And he's gonna have a movie coming soon. Have a fucking massive cock. <laughs> probably. Bro, that shit could probably destroy. Didn't they a house. make like? Oh, didn't they gonna make like pee and poop jokes? Oh, probably. No. I feel like they're gonna be Clifford's at least g- one. Clifford's gonna flood the town with his fucking cum. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he could like go to Africa and poop, and then he'll solve world hunger. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! Bro, is, I, I like the how it's also fuck? just a regular golden retriever, just red. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. You have the picture? Yeah. Uh, 
Victor, no, I could, oh, it I doesn't mean, matter. I could bring it's, it up real quick. He's, he's yeah, show it to the ready, audience. You're just going to have a paint job. <laughs> He, yeah, was actually, he was actually a golden retriever, but they just painted red on him. It's like, oh, he's he's a Clifford Big Red Dog now. Check me. He bitch. doesn't strike me like in in like the cartoon. He doesn't strike me like a golden retriever. He's just I a mean, good boy, though. The most generic ish dog is probably a golden retriever. Like the most basic. Like every, most dogs are based on golden retrievers. Or German sh- or or German Shepherds if you want to be an angry dog. Mm-hmm. I would say something like like less fluffy. Something. More sleek. No, uh, yeah. I mean, he's not that fluffy. Like, I, I mean, mean yeah, uh, whatever. Who cares? Move on. <laughs> why are you mad, dude? It's just Clifford. Dude, I fucking why, hate Clifford. Dude, dude. why are you mad <laughs> for it's a Christmas special? It's a childhood moment for him, man. Maybe uh, he has a bad memory with Clifford. Yeah, Clifford fucking... Maybe like he was watching Clifford and his fucking brother drop 50-pound weight in his head. <laughs> 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 Dropped on him? <laughs> I don't know. It could happen. Yeah, that's, exa- that's exactly what happened. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sure Peter will be mad about that movie as well. They'll find a way. Probably. Yeah, I feel like it's just gonna be one of those generic happy, happy dog mo- movies. I mean, that's fine. Go for it. Fucking Clifford dies, probably. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Imagine, yeah. bro, that's a big ass. He grave. probably would die. It'll be, like, it'll be like the last giant where he, like the giant was a good, friendly person the whole time, oh, and everyone treating like a villain. Uh-huh. And then they fucking they fucking threw a nuke at him. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they're gonna nuke. Where, where do they live? It was like a. Ru- it's it was like in the beach. Or it's an shit. island, no. No, it's not. No, it was like you know, a winter town. Winter, bro. I have no. I've. Oh I've wait, no. Wait, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking the Iron. I'm thinking the uh, the giant movie again. Oh. <laughs> um. Yeah, they live in an island. So should probably nuke it. Get rid of Clifford. Yeah. No, it's a volcano, dude. <laughs> you <laughs> fucking jumps in the volcano. He's like, I'm gonna plug it. Uh, I'm gonna plug it up. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um. Did you guys hear about the details on Deadpool 3? I'm it's still going on? No, but I heard that it's actually, like, moving on. So, you know, that's something. Yeah, it's moving forward. And they're getting the writers from Boss Oh, Boss Burgers. Burgers? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that. I'm pretty excited about that, honestly. It's going to be a bunch of puns. Yeah. I, Boss Burgers. I mean, I've seen a few episodes of Boss Bob's. Boss, Boss, Bur- Boss Burgers, dude? <laughs> the Burgers. Boss Baby's uh, restaurant? <laughs> I've seen a few episodes of Bob's Burgers. It can be really funny, and sometimes it can just be really kind of boring and stale. Yeah. yeah I mean, that's fair. why it didn't last as long. That's why the H. John Benjamin went back to Archer. Oh, they, I don't know. I don't know what that is. I like Archer they should, way they more They should have just gotten the Raiders from Archer. No, they're, like they're busy, dude. Oh, man. I, I don't want them to, like, end Archer. To Ar- Archer's still going strong, in my opinion. Uh, what season is, is it on? Like 10 or something? 11. Shit, huh? Oh wow! Oh, <laughs> I, I'm a I'm gonna need to rewatch all of those again because they're. Those, those I haven't seen. I have never seen. Those are funny, dude. Oh really? They're yeah. good. They're good. Arch is it's, good. It's a unique art style, and it's and it's a lot of characters that you're just full of just bitches. They're just they're all dicks to each other, but different for different reasons. How would you describe the art style? It's, it, to me, it kind of reminds me of like a, a comic book almost. Novel, yeah. Like like yeah, like, 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 like a graphic book? novel. A comic book with uh, less like the stylized like dots, you know, like for old school comic books. So mm-hmm. it's kind of like it's, it's more like the characters themselves being like. Yeah, yeah, you know, I feel like that's a good way to describe it. Also, we went completely off topic. Yeah, um, <laughs> <laughs> let's get back to Deadpool three. Hope it's as good as the first one. Uh, I don't know the if they're gonna one. if they're gonna keep. The my only concerns are: Are you gonna keep it rated R? I think they are gonna keep. They it. They have it, to. They, no? Yeah, because that's the brand. And how are you gonna tie it into the MCU? Because they're gonna tie it into the MCU. It's gonna. I think it's gonna be like he, a reboot. He's, he's, slash he's gonna sequel. jump in a portal, and it's gonna be like, oh man, I enter PG thirteen. Well, they well they well they get time travel now. No, they have so dimension the, travel. Well, yeah, they're gonna assume they, they, they have they, dimension they, travel. They have multiverse now. Yeah, ish. I feel like that's how they're also gonna probably introduce. they'll probably introduce him. Because like, I'm sure no, they're gonna keep like, Ryan Reynolds. Listen, he's he's gonna be entering the. No, no, Ryan Reynolds. It, it's Deadpool's still gonna be played by Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, it'd be a like okay, outrage. So, so here, here's didn't. the plan, right? The universe Deadpool is in is in the R universe. So then he's gonna be transferred to the PG-13 universe, which is where the other movies are gonna take place in. So that that's just gonna be an excuse for like being more tamed. I, I just I just know there's gonna be like a lot of, like fourth wall, breaking. Right. Disney. Oh shit. Well, yeah, definitely. Be like, oh, house, house of mouse, something like that. He's, like, he's, he's, gonna, he's gonna be teleported into like a Mickey Mouse, like <laughs> Disney World. He's, he's gonna be like, I wouldn't doubt if there's something like that. That'd be sick, <laughs> right? Yeah, um, I hope it's still rated R. 
I really hope so. I mean, if anything, like they could always release it like across and like another one. It doesn't have to be the Disney. You know, they they own a Disney. lot of different Disney. 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 Yeah, it doesn't this Disney. It doesn't it doesn't have to be through Disney. What, what was that? It, you know, Disney, that knee. <laughs> Shut yeah, up, Anthony. I, I hope he's uh <laughs> It, it's not gonna. It's not gonna be long till they announce Deadpool for Spider Man. I hope it's a. Uh, it completely like fucks with us, and it's just uh, Deadpool kills Marvel Universe. Oh, like what if? They no, could that, do that. 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 That could be a what if actually. Yeah, yeah. they can. Fuck, dude, that, that's yeah, pretty cool. Possibilities are endless now, with with streaming. Disney Plus. Yeah, the possibility with endless, all those but amazing only shows with the that we should go into. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> yeah. it'd be a nice transition to talk about the Disney's like just fucking truckload of information to be got. Oh, well, that's, that's not the next thing. Oh, fuck off! That's gonna be the next thing. The next thing is Alan says that Tenet flopped. Yeah, because <laughs> it did. <laughs> it kind of did. Oh, like it kind of did. Like I mean, it it flopped. Oh, it didn't flop. Oh, really? Oh, it flopped. Like in terms of the of the situations that are going on with theaters now. Yeah, but you don't get like a stimulus check just like, because of you, like the whole set fucking flopped. Like you could say it did okay. Did like well. it just did okay, but I wouldn't say it was like a fucking bomb. Like oh, one million only. Was it a good movie? I don't know. I didn't watch. I didn't watch it. Well, here's the thing. Like Christopher Nolan always attracts big audiences and all. And Dude, like, COVID's going on. You're, no, yeah, but like. The thing is, it's gonna definitely affect even more because one, it's a ongoing battle with, between the studios and the theaters. Like the theaters are like, hey, you know, if we actually want to survive, we actually need movies to hear to you know, we actually need movies to show. I thought that and, was Tom Cruise saying that. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll get later to that. Oh yeah, but like you know, the theaters are like, we need movies to show, so you movies? guys need to send us movies we need to movies show. To show. <laughs> And the movies are and the theaters are like no not theater and the studios are like fuck you if we send out movies right now they're not gonna make money, and it's just gonna be more of this back and forth. So the theater industry is like just getting closer and closer to just being extinct because of it. So what you're saying is the tenant flopped because it sucked. Yeah, <laughs> like some movies are gonna have to take a hit for it, but like you know I mean it could be like Mulan where it's just paid you just pay a bunch of money to go see for like 30 plus something right yeah but that that's that's what I'm saying like the movie released like during this pandemic but it I in my opinion it didn't like like flop flop like it just did okay for the situation that you know they're in plus Christopher Nolan's like oh I gotta release this movie in theories or else I'm gonna be pissed Mm mm-hmm so <laughs> like he's speaking to himself about it. He's like, oh man, I'm gonna be mad. That I didn't get it. It's, he's just Christopher. Said, I need to release the movie now. Himself. Nolan, please, you're not listening to me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll see how fucking movie theaters are in like within a year. Yeah, because they're struggling right now. They're yeah. They're either gonna be extinct or they're gonna be like they get bought by Disney. <laughs> all, all, all of them, dude. All all it, the studio companies, all the studios dude, have to pay Disney now to no, show dude. their movies. A, 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 uh, AMC gets bought by Microsoft, and it's now part of Game Pass. <gasps> <gasps> it's not even games, it's just TV. Yeah, no, no you gotta movies, play. The, you gotta play the movie at Wait. your house. Yeah, they send you a movie. You have a show. You have a show in your house. Yes. Fuck it. <laughs> Anyways, let's get on to the next news. HBO Max is now going to be streaming all of its 2021 lineup and they will also be in theaters. But the big thing is that they're streaming all of their 2021 movies at the same day of and the same day of release in theaters, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, I mean, one, something we've never seen before, like easy access to it. And the did it say that they're gonna charge extra? Because I believe no, like, no, no charge, no extra, no charge, extra at all. charge. The only thing is that I think they're gonna they're only gonna be available for like two weeks, oh, and then man. if you want to watch it, mm-hmm. it's like two weeks or a month. And then if you want to watch it, you gotta buy again. It. You have to go to you have to go to the movie theater, and then after that, it'll go to um uh like sure. you, had, you had to pay for it. So it'd be like it'd be a month. VOD. It'll be VOD. It'd be like two to a month free. Then it'd be off, and then it'd be like a regular DVD release. So streaming day one, streaming movies day one. Basically, yeah. On premiere. So all their 2021 lineup, which is like 
Um, well, it movies? starts out with Wonder Woman. 1984? Mm-hmm. Yeah, which comes out next week. Yeah, the 24. Yeah, the 24, like you said. And Dude, then, I mean, I just think it's just crazy. And well, I feel like yeah. it's super, like, risky. But at the same time, with everything going on, I feel like it's going to be a big hit. It's going to be a risk that's going to pay off. Well, I mean, a lot of people are going to go, like, subscribe to HBO mm-hmm. Max. Yeah, like and it's gonna it's be good wor- business. It, it's for it's gonna be worth like the fourteen dollars they're charging. Yeah, because I mean, if let's say if we go to theaters, all all of us in this room, how much would that be? Depends. Like but let's say they'll, you know, they'll regular pay, one. They'll, they'll pay the regular us to go to the movie theater to watch it is like ten dollars. Ten dollars, so so it's forty dollars. Yeah, forty. Every, everyone in this room, fifty bucks. Fifty bucks, right there. It, or it, we could all just get like in this room right now, have like even three more people, and watch it right here for no, free. No, no, because then that's that's a party. Yeah, and Illinois doesn't love that. Hey, fuck you. I mean, who said it's not a party? It's a protest. No, no, we'll we'll, we'll make a new new inside outside. Fuck. Let's just put a ten in here. Why do movie? Why do movie? (laughs) Why do movie theaters do that? What? Just make a make a new inside outside, like in the parking lot. (gasps) Put a tent out there. Just put a tent out there. Fucking. And then put plastic. Demolish the entire metal chairs. And then, but then you also have like winter coming. The entire building. So. Then calm down, Game of Thrones. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even know who the fuck yeah. that is You don't know who Game of Thrones is? Wow, yeah. wow. He's the main character from Game of Thrones <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Which game. one? Fuck uh, I was gonna say game <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you Alan But yeah it's definitely. A, I feel like it's definitely a uh, move that's gonna pay off In the long yeah, run Yeah but it's complicated because theaters I mean it'll definitely chains, fuck up theaters They're getting pissed off and so are like I mean, um, just blame the people who don't co- wear uh, masks. So are, like, movie companies. Like, uh, who's making a lawsuit against them right now? Because I think it's of it? Legendary. Legendary. No, well, I mean, Legendary is going to have um, their King Kong versus Godzilla, like, stream. King Kong? Yeah, but... Oh, yeah, because they want more money of them. Yeah. It's just... I don't know. I don't know which side I'm on. It's but it's just, honestly. It's just... It's it's happening so fast, so soon. Yeah, like at, to be honest. at this point, the theaters are down. Here, here's the thing, though: the real villain of the case is people who who didn't care about the restrictions in place and just care go about their own business. And yeah, that's just people in general. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So we're you, that, those are people that. that the the movie companies should like uh, file suit against. All the all, <laughs> yeah. all, all the movie companies. Uh, yeah, fuck like, you guys. Yeah, yeah, there's one person like, hey, fuck you, bro. Hey, you uh, they, 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 they sue everyone who has COVID, even the, <laughs> even, even the dead people. <laughs> like, hey, like. Here's your cease and desist. Cease and desist. It's uh, like a COVID patient in bed, like yeah. unconscious. Here's your cease and desist. Please cease to exist. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fuck, dude, no, that's a, a good one. It, it ceased to have COVID. Stop, stop having COVID. Stop having COVID, and then pay pay off your medical bills, and then pay off your uh, lawsuit. Here's and your lawsuit order. for like fifty million. No, yeah. no, pay pay our lawsuit first, and then pay your bill. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a payment plan. Pay uh, fifteen dollars a month. For, the, <laughs> for like five, for the rest of your life, yeah. For the rest Bro, of your life. Oh fuck, dude! What a what a amazing bad, strategy, dude. It. Like here, I do it. No. Hey, we're we're suing you here. Pay fifty dollars a month is a subscription to HBO Max. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, dude. Hey, that, that'll be a cruel and usual punishment. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, you got HBO Max. Yeah. I mean, it's cruel. And, no, it's a punishment. Yeah, that's the cruel part. You have HBO Max. Yeah. Because they got some and, good and, content, and you like, only get and you only get to watch the HBO like, Game of Thrones. Uh, Fresh Prince reunion, yo. Oh, yeah. But only, but only that one, not not the. Oh, you got the friends reunion, yo. <laughs> what the fuck? Did did you have it's to uh, add the yo? Fuck! This, they could have had the iCarly reunion. Oh, HBO Max for sure. Assuming the reunion that show, been perfect. like the the reunion network. Yeah, basically. The reunion. They're gonna do like uh, what fucking Warner Brothers property has a reunion? Could have a reunion. Uh, Harry Potter. Uh, Teen Titans. Teen, uh, Titans? Teen Titans go. Yeah, that's the reunion. No, the reunion is OG Teen Titans. You fucker. Teen Titans go to HBO Max. Damn. 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 Worth it. Samurai Jack, you off? <laughs> what? Okay, next one. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, uh, that Disney Investors Day. What the fuck do you guys think of all those? Who cares? Billions of releases. No, Lewis will cry right now if he said that. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. I, I guess they announced some Star Wars stuff. Yeah, no, it's not really that cool. important, though. Recording, is it? Yep. Hey, Thomas. I have another mm, funny joke for you. Okay. <laughs> Do you have a joke? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 
though. Who cares for Star Wars? I feel like they just oversaturated the Yeah, the last episode of The Mandalorian kind of flopped. Because no one went to go watch it in theaters. No one wanted to watch it in theaters. Yeah, they should just kill off Star Wars. They should have stopped by, like, the last good Star Wars movie was episode one. After that, they all sucked. Yeah. Yeah, episode two, three, four, and five, and six, they all sucked. I feel like you skipped some numbers there, but okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, the other oh. three, you forgot. Star Wars fans be like, hey, this movie isn't good at every movie release since the 70s. Basically. basically. Yeah, much. that's basically it. But yeah. I Fuck, mean, I'm a big fan of this series, but I don't like any of the movies. Yeah, yeah like Alan said, they're oversaturating the Star Wars brand. Anyway, let's move on to Marvel. Holy shit, <laughs> oh, dude. They have so much stuff. Dude, you mean the superior movies that become <laughs> <That's out movies? laughs> so much better? Bro, you know <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna say something controversial. Do okay? it. Okay? The bottom bottom tier uh, Marvel movies are better than the top tier Star Wars movies. Oh, oh. That's, that's pretty easy to make. Lewis right now. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis in his keyboard typing in the comments. He's, he's <laughs> fucking, fucking casuals. <laughs> so you don't even know about Osaka. <laughs> Read the book. You fucking he always, he also, I love Osaka Japan. He's always <laughs> He's always posting about oh, you fucking casuals wouldn't understand. Or he posts like spoilers. I'm like, bro, who cares? <laughs> just fucking watch the show. Just, just and don't like, post it on Snapchat he's like, either. He's like, oh, he's like, yeah, oh my god, he's like, did you not see the latest episode, man? There's more hype going on, man. Yeah, like Shit. Hey, did you not see the latest episode, of Mandalorian? Oh well, it's all in my Snapchat story. Go watch it. Yeah, well, n- <laughs> like you the- fucking loser. You're not a loser like me that watches the f- <laughs> episode at 2 a.m. Three every I- time. 3 a.m. <laughs> Dude, no, the like- witching hour. Bruh, that episode was a good one, though. Ain't who cares? I mean, Star Wars, it's, it's over right now. <laughs> yeah, if it was so good, why did it end, huh? Yeah, oh, you fucking yeah, 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 fuck, dude, I can't argue with that. <laughs> Lewis, what do you say? Uh, he's not Thank here you, to Lewis. say anything. <laughs> Thank you, Lewis. Right. Lewis, right. don't say anything if Star Wars sucks. All right, I guess I guess the, we decided Star Wars sucks, actually. <laughs> we decided it sucks, and therefore it does suck. We're yeah, going to take fantastic. a poll. Who here thinks Star Wars sucks? Fucking every, like five million people just raise their hands right now. Yeah, people who aren't even here showed up just raise <laughs> their hand. Yeah, dude, I'm like, fuck, dude, now we, ha- now we all have COVID. <laughs> oh. Fuck. Yeah, we all disintegrate. We're not that. No, it's not that. No, it's out of here. Bro, hey, that's ex- that's some extreme huh? COVID right there. We're about to get all you know Alderin. Or what? What is that like? Oh, that's Alder's uh, brother? Alderin. Alderin. <laughs> Alderin. Oh yeah, but yeah, they're um, going back to Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let's leave Marvel for last. Let's talk about like Bud Light beer, the movie. Wait, what? <laughs> it buzz light year. Oh, oh. Yeah, you guys are so slow. Fuck you guys. Oh, yeah. That, I thought you were talking about like a. <laughs> this one is going to be like a. Uh, fucking Bud Light actual, beer. Based on the astronaut that the toy is based on and yeah. not the actual um, toy itself, which is pretty cool. Pretty interesting. I think that it's one. Pixar, right? Pixar's doing it. Wait, so I, it's going to be a, a movie on Buzz that. Aldrin or what? No. What? <laughs> oh. No, in universe. Like, in universe. Oh. It's, like the, it's like the fictional story. No, he's not an astronaut. Sorry. He's a space ranger. No, the the toy <laughs> is a space ranger. This is this is based on the person who the toy was based on. No, he's gonna be a space ranger. ranger. No, it's uh, like it's he like it up. I think he posted a tweet about it, like Chris Evans since he's voicing it. He posted a tweet about like how it's actually this. It's it's gonna be the character. So, so 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 it's it's. It's about the lore behind it's, the Buzz Lightyear toy okay, figure. Okay, so yeah, so it's so it's yeah, that's what I thought. In the Toy Story yeah. universe, there's an astronaut. Let me and that astronaut had a toy made it made based on him. No, I don't think it's gonna be like that. I think no. I think it's gonna be like, cause there's there's been multiple scenes of like Toy Story, mm. mov- or like Toy Story movies that like showed off like what. Oh, like it's a Pixar film, by the way. Yeah, I know you asked that earlier. It's a Pixar. Because he's gonna it, be like a, he's got to be a space ranger. He's not gonna be some basic ass astronaut. He's gonna be like a space yeah, no, ranger it's, fighting. It's, like, they're, they're gonna show off lore of like this the space okay. ranger universe yeah. or whatever, and it's gonna Christmas be like it's gonna be like remember, the, adventure. remember the space rangers uh cartoon. Yeah, that was awesome. It's like it's gonna be like that. It's like the cartoon was the Space Rangers one. It has a, that's what the toy was based off of. It's like Godzilla being the main source well, here, and then like, the toy Chris for Godzilla. Said on Twitter, just to be clear, this isn't Buzz Lightyear the toy. This yeah. is the origin story of the human Buzz Lightyear that the toy is based on. Exactly. We've been saying this for like the last few minutes. He's, he's not an astronaut said, though. He's not an no. astronaut. No. He Motherfucker. Said, he's, no, 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 no. Look, look. He uh, said Aldo knows. he Aldo said realized. he's an astronaut. That it's based off the person. And he said he's an astronaut. And I'm like, no, he's going to be a space ranger. I quoted that twice. That's from the Toy Story movie. He's not going to be a space ranger. Buzz Lightyear is the space ranger. 
It's a, that's what's about you. Yes, it's still based off Buzz Lightyear. Look. Yeah. It, no. 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 But like, it's it's like if they made a toy of Buzz Aldrin, right? And put him in like Star Trek or some can bullshit. Can we just eat him from this? It's not room? like that though. Yes, it is. It's no, gonna be an autobiography it. of the fucking no, of the in, Toy Story. Pixar. Universe. They're gonna do something like nice and read it again. And read it again. Shit. Read oh, it again. Switch it up oh again. I put God. my phone down already. Dude, they're saying it's okay. <laughs> let me make the let me this? let me make the comparison again. Godzilla, right? That's oh, the main yeah, source, <laughs> and then they make a toy out of Godzilla, right? Uh-huh. Now reverse that. That's Godzilla the toy. That's Godzilla the movie. It's like that. So like, okay, here. Buzz Lightyear is the toy. The yeah, movie. Yeah, I don't understand what you're going hey, on. Hey, here, though, here's the thing. Here, I'm gonna keep reading the article. So yes, Chris Evans is playing the Buzz Lightyear, the in-universe astronaut who presumably then gets one hell of a merchandise merchandising deal. Yeah, so it's so, gonna be a, about a real person in the Toy Story bro, universe. Dude, this next. Not the not the space no. ranger. Not the fantasy space ranger. How okay? Wait, so I, it's both. I no, it's not. Cause how are you gonna have either, how are you gonna have merch about us people about a person that you don't fucking know about? That's their look, Godzilla look. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> That's I, literally I, real life. <laughs> 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 it, okay. Read it, read it again. Oh my all god. Right. So yes, he might Chris be an Evans astronaut. Okay. He the might Buzz be an Lightyear. astronaut, but it's oh, not like all this time he's a space ranger, space ranger, space ranger now. Okay. He might be an astronaut. Okay. Yeah, but like it's like the adventures of him a like merchant merchandising deal. Of the space ranger doing space ranger okay, things. What I understand is why the fuck would Pixar just make a movie about an astronaut? About a person. They, they made more basic movies than that. Yeah, dude. How dare they make a movie like Up about a, just a person? That's you different because he fucking goes to space. That's <laughs> <laughs> he almost he did. Spa- he, he, yeah, he goes space to South Ranger. Africa. He goes to South Africa. Oh, no, 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 South chiller. America. What the fuck am I saying? South America, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, South Africa doesn't have water. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, South Africa. What are you talking about? They have puddles of chocolate milk everywhere. <laughs> Bro, that's North Africa and Central. Oh, my bad. S- South, South Africa is the white people one. Oh, right. They're only wastes. Wasis? Wasis? <laughs> 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 they're surrounded by water. What the fuck? That's where Bro, Elon Musk. That's where that's where Elon Musk is from. Yeah, dude, Bro. the movie's based on Elon Musk. Bro, Elon Musk is the richest person from Africa. Dude, think about that. That's crazy. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is, You're I wrong. think the movie is gonna be like a sci-fi film. It's not gonna be a movie about just a normal person. I think it's still gonna have that sci-fi element that is Buzz Lightyear. No, I think it's gonna be a real <clears throat> person. I don't think so. Cause why? Why would they hype up? Literally fifty fifty right here. What, what if you're both? What if you're both right? It becomes at the start of it becomes the marketing deal, and then the other half is him, like the caricature of Buzz Lightyear, developing his like lore how as fuck, a toy. How the fuck would that work? Talk to Disney. That's their problem, it's like, not look, ours. Okay, L- let me. This is how I think it's gonna be like. <laughs> so the Avengers, right? They make a movie. <laughs> the <laughs> Avengers, right? They make a movie. They make toys out of that movie. If you were to reverse that, those are the Avengers toys. The movie that was based off of those toys is the Avengers. So that's how I think it's going to be like. It's going to be the movie of like Buzz Lightyear. And then they just made like the merchandise, a toy. <clears throat> like the, this how would, would be want- like the in-universe movie? Yes, kind of. Okay. This is how, like how Woody had his own TV show and then yeah. he made the toys. Okay, so this would be the in universe. Oh, that's what I'm thinking, because not everything is like 100 percent out there yet. Okay. I would, based <clears throat> on the language used in that article, it would be like a real person in the Toy Story universe. Um, a movie based on a real that. language, you're a real piece of shit right now, and we should really keep going with the damn. News. <laughs> I've only had something s- substantive to say about this, bitch. <laughs> Who me? No him. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're not <laughs> getting. News. We're not getting to game awards. <laughs> yeah. Ah fuck. <laughs> Um, hey, Xbox and PlayStation had a clean release, no, no controversy. <laughs> <laughs> and Hades won every uh, game award ever. I fucking wish <laughs> ever. Anyways, yeah, there was other things announced too, like the Wimpy Kid movie. Nah, Wait, which one is it? The animated be? movie. An- oh, animated movie. Okay. Oh yeah, we talked about that one before. And Did we? With all the cast from the original one. Oh, but, oh, we, but we didn't get the hashtag Roderick's back. Oh, dude. And Tell also. A friend. A new Ice Age movie. 
Fuck the a baby. A new one? This is the seventh one? That is going to be... It's I called the Ice Age. It. There's seven movies? <laughs> oh, wait, yeah. Because of like the first Something three... Like that, yeah. The first three were... It's um, going to be based off the possums. What? <laughs> it's a ah, spin-off. Like that, yeah. It's a spin-off. It's, it's called spin-off. Ice Age Adventures. Buck it, wait, Wild is it short or is it a full-length movie? That's a full-length movie. I feel like that's going to be We should watch the original Ice Age Released. Like just yeah, it's okay. I mean, the original Ice Age, yeah, it's, it's pretty decent. But like, remember how there's like humans in the first one, and there's like they don't no ever more. show up again yeah. because they've died in the flood. <laughs> <laughs> Even though somehow, never mind. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, um, do you guys remember? Do you remember anything else that was announced? We 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 like Blaze. It was a lot Wars, of shit. But it doesn't matter what? anyway. A lot of like Disney property stuff. I mean, they released all the trailers. Well, most of the trailers. Or like more on the upcoming honestly. or the series already announced. Oh, the Loki one. Yeah, the Loki oh, one was pretty. We're getting to Marvel in a bit. That we were talking about Marvel already. Right. Is yeah. it be two Zootopias? Oh, right, another no. Zootopia. I mean? Zootopia Plus is going to be an anthology yeah. series. Oh, it's just like Zootopia Plus going to be a streaming surface, a new streaming <laughs> surface. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be another streaming surface. Yeah, a streaming surface pro. I'm gonna break that shit, dude. Yeah, let's just get to Marvel. I thought we were already... I no, we didn't fucking talk about Marvel. All right. Well, Marvel released a lot of stuff. Yeah. A lot of trailers, were, which were actually pretty interesting. Yeah, my favorite one was Ant-Man plus Wasp plus Quantumania. Quantumania? Dude, that sounds like such a wrestling name, dude. I'm so <laughs> down for it. Quantum- I hate the fucking... Quantum- I hate how the Quantum- title looks Mania? like... Bro, it literally looks like a wrestling thing, dude. I just... It's just like a, like a wrestling Ant-Man title series. card? Yeah, it does. All the titles have been shit. Like a triple threat uh, fucking title card? <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. And it's them saying Kang the Conqueror is gonna be in there, dude. That's racist. <laughs> what? <How's> okay. <laughs> what? That's like so completely random. Um, one I Falcon don't... and Winter Soldier looks cool. Uh, Loki who? looks cool. Uh, oh, one division. They also one talk about the cool. uh, black. Uh, uh, T'Challa is not gonna be recast. Yeah, they're so just gonna good. deal with it. They're gonna just explore the universe. Oh, so they're gonna just tell T'Challa to fuck off or something. Or maybe they just, make, they just have sure, like a I guess. Is it, is it gonna be do something like off screen? No, I think they're probably gonna find a way to like respectfully kill him off. I mean, you, the, the problem <laughs> is that it's weird because technically in this in the lore, like you'll see like his him as the ancestor of like the Black Panther lore, like his father was in the in the movie. I feel like that'd be that'd a be nice weird. tribute, but it's weird. That'd but like, weird. how how are they gonna get him there? That's the thing. <laughs> I don't want to go down. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure he goes like that. <laughs> if, if oh my god! Him, please. If they aren't gonna recast him, I imagine they're just gonna like. Yeah, there like, is. I feel like I feel like they're gonna they, make use of the audio tracks that they had before and like get like an AI to like voice. Oh like, my like, god! Like like vocode it. He's, just, he's, he's on it like he's, he's, gonna, he's just gonna sing back at me. He's like Bakami on his Bakami. deathbed. And like I Disney mean, like goes up to them with the fucking microphone. Hey, you finish your lines. <laughs> like I'm shoving you like his microphone up in his face. And he's like. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> like, hey, you're still under contract. Oh fuck! Hey, Even after death. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you weren't here for the contract, bro. What the hell? I feel like they should. It, it it would be cool if they just went straight to the not straight into it, but like the kind of transition into the the female. Yeah, Black that's Panther. what that's what I would do too. They're I, gonna use I, the sister, right? I I'd, I'd mm-hmm. make her the. Now a, people, a, lo- a lot of people were like pushing for Warmonger to be it. <clears throat> Or at least that's what the, I saw, like on, twi- on Twitter. Yeah, but like the Twitter wants everyone to be yeah. everything. Like, yeah. oh hey, you know this character? It's like, yeah, we know you. Sure. We know your stuff better than what you do. So yeah, fuck so on. you know what? We're gonna pick a poly polyester person oh. to do this. Polyester. Yeah, what? polyester LGBT black person to play. Uh, Don't forget fat. Oh, fat to play <laughs> T'Challa. Uh, check marks, bingo galore. Yeah, dude. Fuck, can you imagine a fat T'Challa? Like, <laughs> <Yeah, give me. laughs> I don't know. They either gonna make Mbaku or Shuri. 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 I feel like Mbaku would be an interesting take. I feel like they wouldn't go that route, but I feel like they're. Uh, it's, I like, like it's mostly they, they would, gonna be Shuri. I yeah. feel like they would go. They would be like, "Oh, T'Challa's gone. Mbaku, you want to be?" And he's like, "Nah." 
He'll probably be like keeping it in a Yeah, he'll, he'll be like a companion. He'll he'll respect him like like there'll be like a tutor like to, uh tutelage of like transferring mm-hmm. power or like understanding like the I feel like that'd the be way nice of like the the way of the character. Now here's the thing, would it be you know how they say they wouldn't like recast them, they wouldn't use like CG to bring him back? Would it be bad to have him like back in the uh, spiritual world Cause you know Like, that's the, that's the like how you said th- th- That was an actual Important scene For the character Like so. if they If Let's say Shuri She's Black Panther She sees into the spiritual world And T'Challa's there well, they Would say you think that's a Would you think that's tasteful Or would you think it's, It wouldn't be It would make sense well, why, for the why would it be distasteful Cause um, Well a lot of they, people they, Have they, problems they, with they, they claim that they wouldn't Do that to begin with Yeah one they already claimed but, They wouldn't But that will be fucked and, up Because technically That's part of the lore Of like the Black Panther lineage but, yeah, but just a lot of people have that, like it's not only the lore of that it's just like kind of nice. real life like things because like we always think or at least not everyone but for the most part people think we spiritually go to a different world yeah but it's gonna be like that but just like no but, th- th- yeah. but that's the thing that if they wouldn't no if they're, if they're gonna be ironclad then like this is not what we're gonna do for him as a character and then flip-flopping it like but, bam. but yeah but he had to the, the spiritual realm has to take a factor if they're even gonna do that at all which i think they should because i imagine they're gonna have a black panther or just talk about how he like left the legacy but no one else can take the mantle because I, yeah. I well one thing the point is a lot of people find it distasteful in general just to have dead actors in anything like you know, uh, putting their faces off. Oh, uh, like, like uh, Paul Walker. And, uh, yeah, well, that was nice tribute because you know they sent him away. But like uh, with Carrie Fisher and all that, or oh, some yeah. and or, other uh, people. Uh, two, two Pac's well, performance. They they, they kind yeah. of oh, hologram way back. And when? this and this being so close to you know or so recent and for someone to be like such a name brand name, I feel a, a name brand name. Yeah, name brand name. <laughs> um, I feel. Do you feel like people will find it distasteful? People like, won't care well, if they're feeling anyway. What people will keep what people will feel. Yeah, I but think studios whatever, care what people feel. All five like of the people on Twitter. Uh, here's the thing, though. Like, I feel like they should con- they should con- consider it. Consult the family. No, if, yeah, if the if family. They, if they would, I, I, I feel like if and if the family's okay with it, fuck them. Fuck, fuck, fuck everyone else. Yeah, fuck, fuck the like, fans. Like seriously, if the if the I, family I, that I, suffered I the like loss is okay with it, why the fuck would everyone else care? Like, why, why would they care about Twitter's response? It's the family who, like, suffered the most. Mm-hmm. Like, don't mm-hmm. care. Like, th- if they were, like, want them to, like, at least be treated res- with respect. I think I think it would be nice if if they made Shuri or some other Blank Panther, they would, like, if it w- they would have, like, a heart-to-heart in, like, the spiritual world. Kind of like what he had with his dad in, in they're, that universe. They're, they're going to make it, like, um... Heart-to-heart. They're going to... They're not going to make... Uh... Him speak like dialogue, mm-hmm. but I think they're still gonna or have, like, like a silhouette. His, they're gonna have like his C- his CGI like presence, mm-hmm. but he's yeah. not gonna be like speaking or like doing much. Right, yeah, they, well, I guess they, they wouldn't they, have they prepared no speaking for him role, right? To, like, no, no, no one's gonna recast him, but they so instead they'll have like a silhouette. So technically, it's not recasting. No, he's he's still gonna. I think he's still gonna be in there. He's just gonna be CGI, but I don't think he's gonna be speaking or. Yeah, no, any I, think, I think they're trying to like loophole like the the uh, news coverage on this. They're they're gonna try like, oh man, we gotta think of like. All these loopholes, all these loopholes in place to see like how they're gonna incorporate the character. Cause I imagine if they didn't, there'll be more backlash. It's like, but still, it's gonna be hap- It's gonna be gone in a few weeks anyway. Who cares? Either yeah, and either way, there's no way that everyone's gonna be hundred percent happy. Mm-hmm. And you can the, never please anyone, no, and at, at, uh, at especially this point, Star Wars you, fans. No, you can yeah, that's never why please we any, over everyone. The Star Wars Lewis is a prime example of that. But Lewis likes everything, apparently. So there has been one thing he hated: <laughs> the Star Wars. Lewis hates everyone. Lewis hates everything, but loves everything simultaneously. Uh, he loves he loves everything as long as it's Star Wars. Lewis is is the definition of a toxic Star Wars fan. <laughs> he is, dude. Who the fuck spoils everything under fucking Snapchat story? Or like, and when he knows he has like Star Wars fans in his mm-hmm. Snapchat as his friends, oh, kind of feel bad for Quan. <laughs> Wait, did he spoil it for Quan? Yeah, yeah, he, he spoiled was... it for Quan. When the time, the what he put out on his Snapchat for at uh, two a.m. Oh, when he, from, when he came back, when he came back from work, did Quan say something about it? Yes, on yeah, the Snapchat. Like, he's uh, like, the yeah, he was disappointed because Lewis spoiled it for him, bro. See, and he, like I think he was like he had like a bad day or something. He's been having it's off topic, but he had like he's been having like a tough week. And he came home and he's like, oh, I'm, I'm going to watch The Mandalorian. Look at my Snapchat. Oh, I got swelled. Uh, fucking Lewis. And oh, Lewis, yeah. Lewis is just like, Lewis is fucking fat. I was like, <laughs> fucking <laughs> watching like, Mandalorian. Like, oh, the character I know. Oh, from the series. Yeah, oh, yeah, Grogu. He's a little spin. <laughs> oh. 
uh, I'm gonna come now. <laughs> what? Imagine fucking. I'm gonna come now. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, can you imagine you're just with a girl and like you're so into the. Uh, uh. I'm gonna come now. <laughs> like just I don't know. We're just straight face. You you just. Yeah, <laughs> coming, commencing. Okay, I, I think I think we stayed <laughs> way too long. At commencing this. in three, two, one. Anyways, um, <laughs> when are they gonna announce a Mexican Marvel superhero? Never. Mm. I want it to be some sort of stereotypical a superhero, <laughs> really? some stereotypical Mexican. I feel like it, well, there aren't really it's, any it's Mexican coming, superheroes in no, there isn't. No, there, comics. There, there was like a there was like a deep lore with Captain America. How there's a different captain for each country. <laughs> that that was like a that was like a. I feel like that would be kind of fun. Yeah, that that'll be kind of like fun. A, like a Captain Mexico, Captain or Capitan Mexico. Mexico. <laughs> I'll just be Captain Morgan. Uh, <laughs> el, el mundo. La escalera. Me- <laughs> <laughs> escalera, whoa! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna look up Mexican Marvel superheroes. Anyways, let's move on. <laughs> well, all those looking up. All right, the next thing is a pretty big one as well. It's uh, basically everything is confirmed for Spider-Man 3. Dude, fuck yeah. So Everyone's we got, confirmed for Spider-Man so 3. So we, we got the Spider-Verse live action, essentially? Yeah. Would, 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 that, would that be safe to say? I don't know, dude. They want to fucking cram in everything in this goddamn film. Bro, the problem with the first Spider- like Sam Raimi Spider-Man 3 is that it, fo- it was fucking crammed with everything. Now, now times that by... 10. Yeah, by, 10. <laughs> by having literally everyone. Hey, li- by having literally everyone from the. It, the it will be series. the end game of Spider Man movies. It doesn't feel like it, though. It hasn't even been hyping it up to that. I mean, well, we still have to see because this is. Like, it hasn't even. Like, it, has it started shooting? Yeah. Right? Screening? No, shooting. Yeah, it started shooting. Yeah, but uh, we, d- we still don't know a month ago? anything about it. So it's still way too early. And plus, we always see those dumbass, like pictures on facebook and stuff like that I'm like oh my god is this movie coming out and this is like oh, super yeah. obviously C- coming out yeah there's like super like obviously super like fake DVD art. yeah so we always see those so i'm like i'm every time i see something like that like all the people sharing it and like yeah okay i'll oh. believe it when i see it actually actually uh ghost Rider has a, a mexican oh yeah yeah he but came that's out like comics he came out in agents of shield I forgot his name. Let's do that. That'd Robbie, be cool. Robbie yeah, Reyes. they they could yeah, make like a, a the newer version of Ghost Rider. Robbie Reyes. I feel yeah, like that'd be cool. Well, technically, Miles also, Morales from LA. Is kinda, I mean, well, he's he's, he's half. Well, he's Puerto Rican technically. Yeah, he's Puerto Rican. Yeah, yeah, not, yeah. But close enough. You know, if you if you tell any Puerto Rican person, you know, Puerto Rican is the same thing as Mexico. <laughs> sure. Probably get stabbed. Yeah, and plus we don't fuck babies, so. <laughs> Well, not yeah, not until they turn twelve. That's it. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? Is that what happened when you're watching Clifford? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was like, Why doesn't Clifford fuck me? Oh my god! Uh, I don't know where you're going with that joke. <laughs> what the where fuck you mean? Do you not remember? We we asked you if something traumatized you when you're watching Clifford. Yeah, what well, happened? You said, who cares? Move on. <laughs> who cares? Move on. <laughs> Something happened to you when you were watching Clifford, dude. Yeah, I got dropped on my fucking head. <laughs> 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 I knew it. But yeah, um, everyone, everyone, dude, fucking everything Spider-Man related, almost everything is in this fucking movie. It's so cramped. I, I honestly don't even know what the fuck the story is anymore. I mean, I'm pretty sure if anything, they're, they're going to have like what? Like literally... A scene cameo Like literally just that But what I don't understand Is like This is like the middle Of the multiverse arc mm-hmm. And they're saving All these characters For the third act I don't understand Why they wouldn't Just make a whole Spider-Verse film like, or, or make it, it a trilogy That makes the most sense Like a live action Spider-Verse film Or make it a trilogy That would be interesting And not cram it into Like Spider-Man 3 Is it actually Going to be I in mean, Spider-Man 3 I thought it was going to be In, in Doctor Strange no, well, it's gonna. The multiverse saga ends in Doctor Strange. It starts with WandaVision. Wanda, Wanda, WandaVision. WandaVision. <laughs> WandaVision. Then Spider Man 3. And then it ends in uh, Doctor Strange. WandaVision. But I don't understand why. It I couldn't just be more. If, if, I, if it were me, I'd make. But it's not, though. Yeah, uh, but I'm saying it. But it's it not, were, though. Okay, but if it were. Totally, but it's not, though. If it Shut were. The fuck then, up, you're acting like Twitter right now, dude. Yeah, he's fucking. He is Twitter. Uh, yeah. If if it were me, I would have made Spider Man gay, and I would have made. I didn't expect that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect that. You said I was Twitter. <laughs> Fuck, not even Twitter. He's, tra- he's trying to get the bingo. 
I would have made Spider Man three with Craven, and then was that up, originally the plan? I don't know. And then set up Sinister Six for a fourth one, then introduce like Norman Osborn like the fifth one. Start this, start setting up like the Spider Verse shit, and then end with like Spider Verse for like the the second trilogy. Mm-hmm. But they wanted to fucking do. I want to do everything, dude. Doctor Octopus oh, from the wait, second movies in the there. Sony thing, remember? Yeah, but. Still, dude, they they want to do too much for one movie. They're just gonna, I feel like it's just gonna cram a bunch of things in there that yeah, won't feel the same. Cause like, like you said, Doctor Octopus from the second movie, uh, Raimi movie. But here's the thing, that character worked in the Raimi movie because he had a close cr- personal connection to that Spider Man. I I really don't know how the fuck they're gonna do this. Like, I'm hopeful and I'm positive still. And I mean, I'm hyped because remember, holy shit. Remember how the second movie even ended off as? Yeah, he died. Yeah, but it's gonna be like a, a it's gonna be a different I'm universe. Far, it's no, not that no, same ta- universe one. Oh, it's not gonna be the same universe no. as Far From Home. Oh no, no, I'm talking about the. It's not gonna uh, be. It's not gonna be the Spider-Man, Spider-Man Two universe. It's oh. gonna be. It's well, gonna like, gonna like be, the Doctor Octopus mm, from Spider-Man Two isn't like original trilogy. Isn't the same Doctor Octopus the one from that's the gonna be mid two thousands. Yeah, it is. It isn't the same Doctor Octopus that's gonna be in the new Spider-Man movie. Dude, with with all this. Like with all these fucking characters coming on, I wonder how like. Coming well, on? I know what you mean now. Like, I wonder how they're gonna like int- like shove in the plot of hey, everyone fucking knows he's Spider Man now. And er- and a lot of people are just hate him because how. Oh shit! Yeah, I forgot about that. Was portrayed. Yeah. yeah, like how are, that's a whole fucking like plot line, storyline, movie right yeah, there. Yeah, that, that's another fucking mess. Into they, it. Watch yeah. them do some Deus Machina type like, shit. Oh, everyone forgot. <laughs> five, five minutes in the movie. Oh hey, everyone forgot now. Can you imagine? I'd be so pissed. That, like, I'm yeah. It, the whole, that's a, that's a whole other mess that no one even discussed about. But like, Bro, okay, look, five minutes in the movie, they're like, hey. Oh yeah, J. Jonah Jameson is in this movie. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> no, they're five minutes in the movie. He's in there twice now, technically. <laughs> Wrong by that logic. No, they're gonna. All right, let's move on. <laughs> let's finish. Five minutes in the movie, they're gonna be like, wow, the whole problem of the last movie is fixed. By the way, here's Spider Verse now. <laughs> this is everyone confirmed so far. For the first Spider-Man movie, it's um, Mary Jane and Green Goblin. Went under the table. From the second Spider-Man movie, it's Doctor Octopus. In the third Spider-Man movie, it's Sandman. <laughs> I was gonna make Venom. No, not Venom. And then S- Sandman. Seven. I mean, some of them are confirmed. The other ones are in the talk still. No, everything I'm saying now is confirmed. Already. Oh, those are the confirmed ones. From Amazing, oh, those are the confirmed ones. From Amazing Spider-Man One, it's Spider-Man and Gwen Stacy. Hopefully, those are the only. Is ones. she back from, from the dead? I, that's what we don't know. And for Spider-Man Two, it's Electro. With a uh, with a fucking Jamie Fox. Jamie Fox. Yeah. He, fuck. Every, so everyone, literally, everyone's reprising their roles. Almost. I mean, and then the ones that are in talks are uh, Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire. I mean, at that oh, point, fuck. they gotta get them. They got everyone else from the universe except you got, Spider-Man. Uh, then you have uh, Vulture. From oh yeah, and then uh, Vulture. The you have Vulture. Vulture. And, um, Scorpion. Mysterio. Get over here, that Scorpion. And, yeah. And then they're in talks of introducing Kraven. A lot of fucking people. Fuck doing. Yeah, that's, that's all. Like, dude, this movie's gonna be fucked. But oh, here's, oh, here's the thing. Not again. Uh, all right, it is the same studio that perfectly balanced like thirty fucking main actors in like Endgame and Infinity. Yeah, World. but they set it up with different movies. They they had like so many movies to tie them in. This is yeah. literally pulling shit out of their ass from like, the last like archived movies uh-huh. into like cramming into one. Okay, there's no develop. Fair. There's no development or sequence from like how'd you go from Spider Man three. To the, how would you connect that to like the latest releases of Spider-Man movies? Because there's nothing connecting it's them. It's really confusing. There's no references either it, way. It's like I just gotta see it. Yeah, we we just we, gotta see it. We gotta see it and watch the train wreck. I'm I'm expecting a train wreck. I'm not, but I'm not expecting it to be great either. Mm. One thing for sure, it is gonna make a lot of money. And it's like, oh my god, it's my character. Oh that's my if god, COVID two doesn't come out. Fuck, dude. Dude, I'll be, really, no. no, COVID three. Everyone confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> everyone gets it. <laughs> Everybody's here. <laughs> Every here fu- where ev- in heaven? That's yeah, not funny. We're all dead in COVID. <laughs> Here's the thing. I I would be kind of frustrated if I was um Spider Man. Yeah. What's his name? Tobey Maguire. No, Tom Holland. Tom Holland. 
because I I would have to share like the screen with. I mean, a million he, in, my, in my movie. He's he's busy doing other stuff, so I mean, and he's he's doing the intro movie. He already finished that. No, but like that was the development stuff. So he's like, he already has like roles and other stuff. Like, yeah, but yeah, but this like, is the role. role. This, movie. this is it's the Spider-Man. role. This, this is the one that'll pay his bills and like set him up for a while. It's not like, hey, we're gonna call it Spider Man Three with Tom Holland, but we're not gonna have you that much. Yeah, but that wasn't the problem with this the. The new, the latest movies is because Sony's like trying to pull them out after like this re- this last movie. No, there's no talks of that. I mean, there was a deal. Well, there they were in talks. Yeah, that's oh, you're talking about deal. connecting to to the MCU. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, the new deal is they got another movie and another appearance in an MCU film. Fuck, we forgot about the Morbius movie too. That's also gonna be connected. And Bro, then they're the saying fuck? they're saying that this might spin off to Venom? an original Spider-Man three. And a sequel to The Amazing Spider-Man 2. So, I, I didn't imagine like a wormhole just no, bro, what the fuck? A, a sequel to... Wait, I'm so sorry. So, Spider-Man, so Spider-Man, Spider-Man 4. Spider-Man 4. Spider-Man 4 like, with, with Sam Raimi? With Sam Raimi. And, and then they ending the trilogy The Amazing for Spider-Man 3. Just to close off their stories. Holy shit. Fuck, fuck yeah. that, Old man. ass Tobey Maguire fucking swinging and he's like fucking breaks his back. No, it's, it's going to be like the Spider-Verse. He's going to be the fat one. Peter B. Parker? Yes. You think all, so? Oh, well, maybe. Actually, if if they get him back, do you think they'll be like veteran Spider Man? I don't know. I feel like they would be. Yeah, well, they would yeah. probably. I feel like they would like mentor young young Peter. And yeah. then they say that Zendaya hasn't even shot anything yet. Well, I mean, they barely started shooting like a month ago, no? And the movie's coming out next well, month. Well, Fuck. yeah, but like, if that, that, you had an important role in the movie, they probably would have shot some scenes already. That's true, but hmm, I don't know. Or and usually, think, filming schedules take like three months. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's still three. Uh, that that two yeah, that's all, that. I think that's where the, f- the problem is going to be focusing it is is because how the second movie ended. They're probably like, oh, she's not going to be part of a role because she's in, she's not going to be relate associated with Spider Man anymore because er- everyone's eyes are on Spider Man for but Mysterio's if, death. But if Spider Man's love interest from the other movies are in it, why wouldn't the love interest from this movie be in it too? Yeah, they have like to... a girl moment, like a girl empowering moment. Oh, that's wow. another. Yeah. Like oh. they're, they're, that's they, they all fall off a skyscraper and they gotta be saved, <laughs> except oh. for Gwen Stacy. She fucking dies. <laughs> one, one of the girls is dying, bro. <laughs> one of the girls is dying. Fuck, she's out again. <laughs> like Andrew Garfield, like fuck, out again. <laughs> God, I would hate. To, I would hate to be the writers making this movie right now. I would hate that shit right now. It's just atrocious. So yeah, I think. Oh, and mean, then the pizza guy's coming back. <laughs> He stole that guy's pizza. Like, pizza guy. He took that man's pizza. He stole that man's pizza. And then the guy who, who oh, and the guy, guy who had references. the pizza stolen from him is also coming back. Oh, oh well, the people on the train carrying him. It's like, oh, he careful. He's a hero. The train's coming back. Yeah, J.K. Simmons coming back. <laughs> He's been back. See, <laughs> <laughs> everyone's here, dude. dude. Everyone's, everyone's here. here. Yeah, I have Aunt May, dude. Fuck, no, dude, it's her corpse. All three Uncle Ben's are ben, dead ben, in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> they all get shot. <laughs> they all light up and bam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, light up uh, one behind the other. Okay, I got it. No, they, 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 no, they, no. Go through them. they all sync. They all sync. Say the lines. Like great power comes great responsibility. And they, and all they just, fucking died. Ben, ben Stiller should play Uncle Ben in the new Spider Man. Three different Bens for three different Uncle Bens. That's ben Stiller. <laughs> we were talking uh, about this for a while. Stiller. This is the last movie news. Be- ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're like saying I'm Ben. Ben. Ben's. I'm, ben ben. I'm also. <laughs> oh shit! Wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ben. <laughs> Fuck, that'd be funny. That's not even the. That's not even the Ben Affleck Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, Solid Snake has been confirmed. Oh, for uh, movie. MGS movie? Oh, yeah. Too, too bad uh, uh, really? Kojima is not going to be part of it. Because Oscar really? Isaac is playing him, right? Yeah, Oscar Isaac Newton. He's not taking a role. He's, he's not part of the casting for... Oscar Isaac is going to be playing Solid Snake. He, I mean, that's a good he's role. He's playing a lot of iconic characters right now. Yeah, like Solid Snake. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so you're saying he has no part at all in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the production of this movie? No, they didn't kick him out already. Well, Con- well Konami Development Studio... The, the publishing companies kicked them off, and oh, so he, it's good. he has oh, okay. no affiliation with Konami anymore. So yeah, okay, they, no, they, I, I was confused because I thought it was hit it, like I thought it was just like 
it wasn't Konami making it. I thought it was like another company. No, it's not, no. Well, even if like, they own the IP, Ko- so. Kojima didn't even oh, make right. an announcement for their involvement yet at all, and they're oh, already, I forgot. They already started casting stuff. So. I forgot about that. So they're not they're not taking Kojima's not taking a role into the the movie, which is uh, really know. disappointing because Kojima uh, really wants to make movies. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Well, his games are movies. Well, yeah, but he, basically he, playable he, movies. Interactive movies, especially because yeah. of fucking how long the cutscenes are. God damn it! Shit takes like ten uh, years. It it's it, it it's weird. I feel like if anyone could make a good MGS movie, yeah. it would I mean, just be it would be it would be, it would be, it would be him. It would be the man. It would be the like, man himself. I made it. Uh-huh. Fuck you. <laughs> I feel like Konami would somehow like fuck it up. Fuck it up, and then he'd spin. I mean, has we, Konami we, made any other movies? No. Like live action films, Silent Hill. Oh damn. I know about that, but they made uh, MGS survive or survival. No, that's a game. But oh yeah, I mean, I'm saying like movie. besides the point, they made that, which is a bit is a big fucking f you. They stuck their middle finger yeah, in the asshole. Yeah, it's really the biggest. And then they trash stuck it in, and then they, they stuck it in Kojima's mouth. No, they didn't stuck it in Kojima's mouth. They were like, hey man, this is like, we could do good shit. Like we look at Milgar survive. It's like yeah. le- heaping pile of flaming garbage. Yeah. From the trash can. Fuck so yeah. But okay, since we're not Metal Gear fans, well, at least not me and Alan, because we haven't really played the games. What would you base it off of? Like, what game would you guys base it off of? Probably the first one. Fr- probably the first game. Probably the clearest one. Because yeah, that one or the third one, Snake Eater. Or yeah, yeah, or, yeah. I think Snake Eater would be good. Snake, Snake Eater could be also pretty good. Explain why. Uh, well, Snake, Snake Eater is the prequel. It's like <laughs> story wise, is the inter- It's like the beginning of the timeline. Yeah, here's the thing about MG. Here's the thing about MGS. No matter what, it's gonna be confusing to people. Who, to people who won't. No, the, I'm not gonna the, tell there's you. some like magical shit and like futuristic stuff in in the same time, regardless of the the time or era. Yeah, there's a big ass. There's a big ass robot. There's uh, telepathy. There's fucking clones. Uh, telepathy, clones illusions. Illusions. Clones. Clones. Uh, I mean, if they're gonna make bleg- movie, big they ass just- flaming whales, but that that. That was Phantom Pain. That was Phantom Pain. But that, what was that? That was that was middle. That was in the 80s. Yeah, so that was before MGS3? Yes. All right, right, here's the thing. For the movie, would you guys want it to be realistic or just fully embrace? Fully embrace it. It has to, it be has to embrace it. Because that that's, that's the whole part of because the... Because even the first game had like some wacky stuff. Like They made a lot of references and there's a lot of creative aspects in all the games. It's... In some regard, it's a it's a lot of uh, Kojima's like sort of like insanity, like his like it, his it, own it, creative his it, own it, creative it's insanity. insanity. <laughs> it, it's real creative, like like watch. Like, I would recommend like like wa- like looking at the cutscenes for the games because there's a lot of, like humor involved and there's also a lot of serious stuff, mm-hmm. and it's a nice blend of it it's, throughout the whole journey. A lot of it, like a lot of this shit, is a metaphor. Actually, but like legitimately, it's like a, like actually well re- like well thought out. If and if you're like just like looking at it for the and, first and, time, and it makes sense. Like Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, dumbass. Kingdom Hearts. Fuck, I was gonna say that. But yeah, um, I would have high hopes to if they did based on the third game or third the third game, game would be would be good. First game would make sense, but third game would be probably the best chance of a good movie. Yeah, but all of our all the games are pretty long anyway, so I don't know mm-hmm. how that'll play out. All right. Well, that's it for the movie news, guys. Now let's move on to video game news. What's up with the game awards? Yeah, no, I have the list. Game awards. So like two. Um, oh. d- d- there was like a lot of good announcements. There's like a wait. What? Game awards the second to last because those are len- lengthy discussions. I want to get the short ones out of the way first. Well, okay. t- I want to. I only want to mention Cyber- game awards because we have the arc, uh, arc two announcements. Which E2? because <laughs> there's a there's a TV show. There, there's gonna be a show related to the game. That kind of relates to like media entertainment stuff. That's why the only reason. Oh. Okay, what the fuck is that? Uh, so there was one of the games that was announced for Game Awards was a game called Arc Two. It's a sequel to a survival 24/7, 24 hour game. Uh, and essentially they're they're casting a bunch of like famous actors. Like Vin Diesel is one of the main stars in it, and he they have an animated spin uh, show that's connected to the game. And Vin Diesel, this is the this is the weirdest fact. He played over a thousand hours of Arc One, and that's really. And he invest with that investment, he got himself into the role in Arc Two animated series. What the fuck? That's weird. 
And it's funny because what's I'm, Ark? I wouldn't pick. So him. Ark, Ark is a survival, like always online survival game where you play as like caveman or basically you it, play as a caveman in a simulation of like survival because Earth is fucked and everyone's technically in space until you can prove yourself that you can survive in a virtual landscape that is like prehistoric. That's like the in, like the very deep. There's a very deep like lore explanation. You're like, essentially a caveman. How old is it? How old is this game? It's been, it's been, it's been a while. It came out like in 2015, 14. It, it was like it was part of early access and it was like fully released. But essentially, this whole series is about you developing survival skills in a simulation, for you can actually survive and preserve the human race. And the arc two takes place immediately after what happens in the first last expansion. Basically, you shit, uh, kill, and tame dinosaurs. And you fight with other tribes, and like it's a PvP focused game, so you can you will build and you would take resources off of people who are living on the same environment you are. And those skills will go into very, your until you out of the simulation like the Matrix. It's a very weird game. It sounds like some shit Vin Diesel would play. Sounds like right? Minecraft. Well, there's no cars. That's why. That's why I'm threw me off. No cars. No cars. Uh, Damn. They're is gonna it, add is cars. Is it gonna be like familia? They're gonna add cars. No, they're gonna add uh, mammoth cars. Mammoth cars. He fucking gets in the butthole. <laughs> <laughs> He's like Ace Ventura. <laughs> <laughs> like fuck, I gotta get the out fucking, of here. The mammoth's gonna be going like <laughs> 90 miles an hour. But yeah, that's a, that was the coolest. That, that's the weirdest <laughs> fact I I found out from like the whole production. Vin like, Diesel show. playing a thousand hours of Ark. Yeah. And it's funny. That's a long time. My, my friend played a, like a lot yeah, more hours. Yeah, that's like a thousand hours. That's like over nine hundred. And, and <laughs> I think it's funny because my friend thinks he actually fought like he fought he fucked up his village before because Bro, he my friend was playing a shit ton of hours in the game, so he gets on hopping to different servers. So there's a chance he fucked he fucked up his shit too, because my friend was like up there in the leaderboards for like, for because yeah. you you get rewarded for like invading other people's property and like destroying and like stealing them of their stuff. Bro, that's a uh, thousand hours. That's like forty-two days straight. Well, the game came out multiple years, so it's like a, it's like a long process. So yeah, I, but it's still it's still a long that's, time. That's fucking long. That 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 is dedicated to like a survival game, which I didn't expect. Vin Diesel was insane. Yeah, Vin Diesel was a fucking. Yeah, um, that, that's just one of the announcements of the awards. But I guess we'll go into the other stuff before. Yeah, we talk the other about quicker it. things. Um, Nintendo is a shitty company. Yep. Well, yeah. Dude. <laughs> uh, the big, wait, more, more, about? more, more at six. All Everything, dude. All of them. The sma- all of them. The smash. All, the all of them that happened within this month. All of them that happened within this month. Okay. Like, what you mean? Uh, okay. So one of the things is that they canceled a online tournament for, for Melee. Brothers Melee mm-hmm. because it had like a online implementation of a, a system in place where you can set up emulations to f- play with each other online, and it had like an uh, online solutions where you could play with each other and not have bad lag so, so it was what it, it, it's essentially not used in nintendo's shitty online service mm-hmm. well what the, game gamecube is well mainly didn't have uh, online. mainly doesn't have online to begin with and also it's using emulation and they can't because they can't prove that everyone who who has the emulation did it legitimately and not did it from like a website they just canceled the whole process because it's not illegal to have emulations it's it's only illegal if you got it off somewhere else that, that wasn't from your own copy. That's dumb. So, and that's just one of the Nintendo things that's been going on. They've been uh, Ninten- a lot of people have been trying to support Melee because because uh, like, it, it basically has a cool following. Yeah, and it's still going strong. Yeah, and it's still going strong. Yeah, definitely. It's never gonna die. And then you have the backlash. Of the Splatoon one. So Splatoon so because peop, because melee hostility is so was so strong. Some teams listed what had like a logo like part of the team name was, was free, a melee, free melee, mm. a hashtag that, was, that was like posted on Twitter, and then they canceled the whole stream of the tournament. Yeah, it was a, it was a Nintendo tournament for Splatoon, mm-hmm. and one of the top players were I think no it was multiple ha- multiple teams. Oh, was it? It was uh, a, it was well, a quarter of teams free melee. Mm-hmm. And Nintendo didn't like that, so they canceled, like, what was it, the finals? They, they canceled the whole stream. Of yeah, the, they just like, canceled the whole, everything just because Nintendo didn't like that. And then and then the people the people who organized in the next tournament had raised more money than the reward for the Splatoon 2 tournament. Bro, I, say, I, I said this a while ago. I don't think I said it in podcast. I think I said it in person. 
But like Nin- Nintendo is like one of the most tone deaf companies out there. And then okay, that that's not the end of it. There's one more thing. They also they also just struck down a bunch of music DMC takedowns for like their back catalog of yeah. songs that they haven't posted anywhere else. I I also feel like, oh, there's another thing. Okay. Um, they shut down this person's uh, custom Joy Cons. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, for Etika, Etika, oh, uh, Really? Yeah, yeah. they because they the they, 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 Yeah, the Eticons. Nintendo shut that down because supposedly they were selling. I don't know. It's some stupid it, shit. It, like, it, it was, was it was a third party right. manufacturer of yeah, controllers like that they were working. Unauthorized third party sellers, basically. Yeah, I yeah, well, and, and it's it 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 hardware custom. controllers, and, and it was intended to go to a charity, if I remember correctly. Yeah, all the money was going was going to a charity to help out uh, people with mental health issues. Wow. Yeah, and dude. Nintendo shut that down. They're like, yeah, fuck you. Hey, fuck you. Hey, everyone. Hey, go kill yourselves, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> hey, do not our country to raise up our suicide, our suicide <laughs> rates. <laughs> Even though the easiest thing Nintendo could have done the whole month is just, like, let them be, because there's nothing hostile about any of the uh, stuff they shut down or, like, targeted. And here's the thing that sucks, right? I feel like Nintendo's kind of, N- Nintendo's, kind of like Disney in a way, what? where like no matter what, everything's gonna be fine. They're still gonna make money. Oh yeah, yeah. It yeah. doesn't matter. It's like a e- few days later, in a even Super the Nintendo Smash Melee kids still play the other like games that come out because yeah. they're all Nintendo fans as well. Yeah. But the fact that they're still getting hatred for having the, for playing a game that's two decades old, and there's now there's not even official like re-release of a game. It's exactly yeah. It's not like you can fucking play Melee now. Like, you have to fucking go get the GameCube, go get the game. Yeah, they get the physical versions of then, the GameCube games. And then you also and you have the physical console. Costs? You, know how much this, you know how much Melee costs? It's 80 yeah. bucks right now, at least. Exactly. If you can find it. And I have a broken one. It's 80 bucks. And <laughs> there's different versions, <laughs> it, 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 versions of them, too. Uh-huh. Yes, and there's three different versions that everyone fixated on, like, a certain version of a game that you can't... It's hard to tell. You have to look at the, like, the little, like, uh, uh, the, the ring wheel. in the middle. Yeah. And it's like Nintendo could have just, like you said, Nintendo could have just sat back and not been an asshole. Yeah. But then they decided to be an asshole. And it's like funny because Iwata, the person who like died, like the who was in charge of Nintendo, was Man, like that is pretty funny. He 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 quoted, they they had he had a quote where like why would you punish people who played your games? Yeah. So it's like but now that we got Doug Bowser. Well, the, because and he he's hasn't a villain. Because he's a villain. And he hasn't said anything. I mean, yeah, because Japan has more authority than, than the America. Yeah. Japan gets to make those decisions. I mean, yeah, it's based in Japan, dumbass. They're, they're le- no, yeah, no, dumbass. but like, technically, um, fuck, got me. N- Nintendo America will have some authority, but Japan is like, fuck you every time. Mm-hmm. God damn it. Play, don't stop playing our old games. Play new ones that we make available to you to repurchase. Fuck Nintendo's you. just outdated, dude. Yeah, they're so outdated. They're so out of touch. And no matter what, they're still gonna make money. Yeah. yeah. Well, barely. I mean, they weren't they struggling like a couple of years ago? No, yeah, but now, the now they're like, yeah. in, now they're like, most of the games are like twenty plus sale, twenty plus million sales, mm. and that's like, that's a minimum for most of the exclusives they release. Well, just for that, I hope they release another Wii U. <laughs> <laughs> Wii U too. Wii U too. They 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 no they release the uh, no virtu- no they release the virtual Wii Wii, Wii U oh, and me. Nice. We you and me shut the fuck up. Anyways, um, that, that's it. That's <coughs> it for the Nintendo fuck up news. Yeah. Now for some. Oh uh, man. Now for some Nintendo not fuck up news. Uh, Sephiroth and Smash. <gasps> everyone's everyone's forgiven. Fuck. Me. Everyone's like, ah, oh, we oh. forgive you, Nintendo. Oh, uh, n- Nintendo, uh, you cool. <laughs> you, Nintendo, you my <laughs> n- now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that Nintendo. Hashtag, H- H- hashtag you know, fuck no. melee. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, pues ya puedes pasar, tío. <laughs> Anyways, now time to forgive Nintendo because Sephiroth is now in Smash. Dude, fuck it, dude. I, my favorite part was when he, like, fucking shanked Mario. You didn't even see the trailer. No, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there we go. I exposed you. True. No, what? You didn't see the trailer. Well, I didn't see the gameplay one. Oh. I thought you didn't see the trailer. No, well, the trailer was what, like what, two minutes or something like that? Oh, oh no, it's two I minutes. can't find two minutes in my life to watch it. <laughs> the fuck, I can't watch this two minutes. Dude, that's two minutes out of your life that you're not going to get back. Fuck, dude. It's I mean, getting it, cold. Not, it wasn't as big as Steve announcement, so who cares? Exactly. Uh, but but everyone, well, Steve, everyone, so for, everyone so forgave Nintendo. <laughs> Steve, like, fuck, dude. Dude, I, I, I love the comparison of, 
uh oh. fucking Sakurai's Sakurai no Sakurai's uh tweets about um how excited he who, was. Well, who's my new, who's my main? Terry. Terry. Like a whole like paragraph, like like two tweets dedicated to Terry, and then Steve came out and was like Steve added. <laughs> 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 I mean, yeah, because Steve, Steve was a bitch to develop. Have you found I out? imagine. I'm sure he was a bitch to develop. Uh, so, yeah. Steve! S- Seth, Alex. That, so, we could go more into the Game Awards announcements that hey, came what in. the fuck? <laughs> oh, Sephiroth's pretty cool. I mean, yeah. Cool. All right, now let's time to speculate. Who are your last three fighters? What are your what? Oh, the, oh, the last three fighters? Uh, I want. I mean, Ryu, Hayabu- R- Ryu Hayabusa. Hayabusa, mm, maybe. Uh, I also, I would also put Doom Guy up there. Doom Guy. Doom Guy. Or Master Chief still? Nah, they already possible. got a Microsoft rep. I don't think they're gonna. Th- th- they're still, they're still possible. Dude, there's three more characters. That's true. Three yeah, more. Microsoft Literally Microsoft anything's up there. for grabs. Dude, bro. if Doom yeah, Guy, basically. if Doom Guy or Master Chief gets announced, I'm buying another Switch. I'm buying another <laughs> Switch. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. You're gonna finally have a switch only for a homeless guy to be like, hey, and then you're like, oh, fuck it. <laughs> Here's five million dollars. Dude, if Nintendo fucking does something else controversial, I'm buying 10 switches. <laughs> Just because I hate him so much. Yeah, that'll show. Nah, no, you hate him? Oh, man, he's gonna keep spending money. Dude, on if them. they fucking piss on Etika's grave, dude, I'm buying like a million switches. <laughs> Bro, Jesus. They basically did. Jesus. Yeah, yeah they basically did. Yeah, they, ba- they basically said fuck you to mental health. Yeah, they basically took a dump on them. I mean, that's basically what they've been doing to, inter- to the citizens for like the past. Since the citizens of since Nintendo? No, the, no, the <laughs> citizens of Japan. Bro, that's basically Nintendo land, though. Citizens <laughs> of Nintendo, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's another one of your announcements They're that like, they made. It's the Nintendo world. Be like, Nintendo I land. dishonor family. I die now. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you, Louis. That's cool. Yeah, it's a sword, you know? Another sword fighter. Another sword oh, fighter, yeah, another dude. Sword fighter. Another sword fighter. <laughs> no, no, but this time he's like two swords because it's super long. Oh. At least it's not a fucking Fire Emblem character. That's I mean, he's like okay. a Fire Emblem character on steroids with in terms of range. Hey, he's more Bro, that shit's gonna be annoying. That shit, like, you'll be like dude, halfway I, across the map. I'm gonna main him, dude. I'm he's literally a better Marth because his, he has a he has a tip function. He's longer Shulk too. Yeah, yeah. and that pisses me off. <laughs> when, when he when you're like uh, what like halfway across and he hits you and it hits backslash. <laughs> Oh, when I counter, yeah. and like it's five annoying, yeah. seconds delayed, and he still gets you. And I counter again, it's like ten minutes delayed. And for some reason, it still gets you. Yeah, because yeah, like, online's fuck? trash. No, I'm just talking. We all we, we always <laughs> play in person, dude. Yeah. Fuck, I didn't Good. get my controller. Now we're gonna emulate Smash and play on online. Yeah, just to some uh, Nintendo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but before that, we're gonna go out and buy five switches. <laughs> for real. One yeah. for each, and then we're playing different corners of, corners of the house. Game Awards. Oh. Anyways, um, the next piece of news is... Drum roll, please. Game Awards. In the category of Best Art Direction, The Last of Us Part 2. For Best Score in Music, The Last of Us Part 2. The Best Audio Design nominees are The Last of Us Part 2. Innovation and Accessibility, The Last of Us Part 2. In the category of Best Narrative, The Last of Us Part 2. Best Role Playing Game, The Last of Us Part 2. Best... So we oh, got. You didn't even give me a chance a, a to do a drum roll. <laughs> a lot of the important announcements that that was made in the Game Awards was just a lot, of, and Smash? a lot yeah, of like old, a lot of old developers coming back with like spiritual successors or. I didn't even see like the new Awards. studios. I saw some. I saw uh, like, I believe the last half of it, something like that. Oh, the last. We got half the of us? we got the Callisto project, which is yeah. a Dead Space <laughs> spiritual successor. We have Perfect Dark, which is what the fuck? Perfect Dark's giving a sequel. Perfect, well, I mean, Perfect no, Dark is it's, a- it's a full remake. Fuck yeah, dude. Did Fuck Perfect yeah. Dark getting a remake? Yeah. What's it called? Perfect Dark. Perfect Dark. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, dude. <laughs> more Perfect Dark. Perfect or Dark? Perfect more it, it's, <laughs> The it's, Perfect it's, Dark. It's perfect Darker. So far, it's taking a different spin on things because it's like in a world where like corporations are like the main authority. It's essentially, it's actually, it's actually one of like the original cyberpunk games. Really? Yeah, I and think, I don't know if they're going to take the alien it. approach to the, the whole series. Is any cyberpunk run on N64? Basically, <laughs> better than the Switch. Oh, there's actually a video of a guy running Cyberpunk on Switch. Really? Yeah. How did it look? It looks good. He's streaming it on it. That's why. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that doesn't do stadia, anything. dude. But you it can, still you, plays. You can, you can stream games to your TV. Dude. You stream games to your fucking CRTV. Okay, so. Anyways, 
there's also the other Left 4 Dead spiritual successor, Black for Blood. I, I played that a little bit. Uh, How was it? It's not really jank, it. and it's, I'm, I'll be surprised if it releases in June. It does not seem good to be released in June. Um, early June or late June? Oh, they just said June. Mechanically speaking, like all the stuff they have in place, cool things being added, and like a lot of different. Like cool mo- concepts, good. Grass. Yeah, like a card system that you can like change your like per. You can change your benefits of your character as you're playing through the campaign. Uh, there is difficulty. It seems to be the. The same or do you think easier? Uh, they they changed. Uh, basically, there's more friendly fire. They the biggest mm-hmm. thing is friendly Fuck. fire. <laughs> Fuck. Damage. We're fucked. <laughs> nice, bro. Dude, we're Let me get fucked. The game's again. harder. It's is it? I really? I couldn't beat it. And Fuck. it was it was because there's there's two aspects. The finale, enemies kept on forever spawning. There was like no break. Oh. And you they kept on coming from every other angle, and the direction you had to come from, so, uh, go to. So, they corral. They, ne- they ne- since they never stopped, they just they just keep adding on. They adding get they're on, kind of adding on, and, and like you, just you know, die. you have a whole fucking horde. And then. The the big creature they show off in the trailer, he is a he's super tanky to get rid of, and he can one shot you. Oh, fuck! Can you imagine that? Just imagine like, like a tank challenge for that. Because you you need to invest money. Like there's there's currency in the map that you can pick up, and the currency you, every turn at the end of the level you go into the safe room. When your new level loads up, you can purchase items with the currency you picked up throughout the level. And, but because you need the money for explosives to deal with the ogre, they call the ogre. They have it takes too much time because you also gotta find. You'll, there's Wait. also no hardly any ammo pickups. Is this gonna be a pay to win thing? Pay to it's it's starting to sound to a lot of like. But you need there, you need to get this explosives, there, but you need to get so much money that the, all or. the all the in game currency is picked up through the level. Mm-hmm. But there is, there could be a place where you pay cards. For like a deck re- option, okay. So there could be a possibility of that, but I uh, you doubt it. It doesn't seem stable enough for me to for me to say it will come out in June. Okay. Yeah, because like the way you're describing it, it sounds a lot like like that. what like like oh this is this boosts your money pickups. It's like it's like would you pay five dollars like for a, a stat for a deck would be like increased stamina or increased health. So it, it'd be kind of like like the Battlefront two sort of thing where you have to pay for like. For like like good stuff yeah, to make like, it easier yeah. to get across. Up here, <laughs> Probably yeah, maybe some. the you could customize your initial startup set, but er, every time you play the level, you would find more cards to pick up, and then you can select one out of the three, and it will change, and you can they wouldn't be up here anymore. Hmm. So there's a lot of things in place. I'm hopeful that it will be good, but I don't think it's coming in June. I, if anything, I would just want like a vanilla Left 4 Dead experience. I would pay for that. I would pay like sixty bucks for like ten levels. Maybe there could be a mode for that, but they they really focused on the card aspect and the enemies. And so far, the enemies is pretty hard for the most part. And the card system's cool. The card system is really interesting, and there's a lot of flexibility you can do. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that that's it for Back for Blood. Then yeah. you have how Hades got cucked by Neil Cuckman. Uh, pretty much. I. I mean, I don't know. Doom Eternal also got snuffed because yeah. Doom Eternal should have got at least like audio. Who got but, audio? Uh, there, there was like a reward for like audio design. No, yeah, but what, what, what got audio? Last of Us. Last of Us got everything pretty much. Yeah. It, it There's got, no audio on Last of Us. It's real. Oh, maybe for like the butt fucking scene. It, it's <laughs> it's yeah, that's why one. It's like uh like realistic sounds. Fuck. So like, 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 it's like, it's like, it's like a gunshot to a rifle. You got like pistols and you have like the, uh, clickers and, and you, you got, have like, the guitar, footsteps, you, got, and you have the yeah. guitar mechanic, which is the coolest thing in the music department wise, because yeah. you can actually have a physical, you have a guitar in some, some parts in the game. You can string actual notes. So you play Wonderwall? That, that, that's labeled as the actual Basically, notes. In, like, yeah, a, yeah. If you like press the trigger, it'd be like a minor, a minor, 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 B, minor B, yeah. B plus or like. Be, be major and like you can, like you can you, play like you play real songs. notes play yeah are there, is there song are there songs is there videos of people yeah, I'm on, sure. on YouTube yeah I'm yeah, sure there, yeah there's a Metallica one uh, acoustic version in Last of Us 2 which I saw there and, and there's a bunch of like remix there's, there's a bunch of stuff you can do with guitar feature but that's kind of the only thing I consider the good things about the audio wise for Last of Us 2 I felt Doom should have won that and then you have Game Direction which 
I hate I personally hate the story of Last of Us 2 because he kind of like fucked over the main cast and he gave us a shitty lesson that revenge is bad in a mm-hmm. post-apocalyptic world where they're trying to find the hope in humanity mm-hmm. and this game just like says fuck humanity because <laughs> mm-hmm. there, there was a faction in the game that basically would rather kill everyone else because they had different values than the people who are trying to survive and a lot of like social issues evolving that which th- doesn't seem to fit in a post-apocalyptic world like Lear, many years later because it's supposed to take place like 24 years after I think at that point when it's post-apocalyptic you'd care less about that yeah but it's a big it's a big aspect because you have Abby then you have Abby's partner Lev and the transgender aspect then you have Ellie lesbian relationship that doesn't develop it doesn't seem like genuine relationship there's something that they threw in there well I mean they had it in the, in the first DLC they had for, in the first DLC but the, but that was with someone else because that was yeah. a prologue to finding out Ellie's immune. Yeah, but I mean, it's still like <clears throat> that's still explored her sexuality. Yeah, okay, it, it explains it. it. Explained it, but you know that wasn't introduced in the first game, yeah. in the main game, and in the second game, this is kind of like, oh yeah, this is her. But that was in, it was introduced in a DLC, right? Yeah. So like, I wouldn't even include it in the main game because you you had to add that. You, part. you had yeah. to you had to get the remaster version or pay the expansion. So it literally does feel like something they just shoved in. Maybe, but it didn't feel that bad, badly written, at least. No, the first game was fantastic. First the game second fantastic. game just feels like fuck over everyone because we want to hey, make a like, world that's like characters? really depressing. Like the game it's, is generally <laughs> kind of depressing. I <laughs> love you, Dad. Because because <laughs> they because the characters are like in conflict with each other, but the conflict gets like ruined because they don't kill it. The one one person doesn't die at the end. Like neither one dies. So then the whole time of killing each other's like sides. The whole time is kind of pointless because no one, there's no end result. Mm-hmm. Like typically, if you kill a hundred plus people, you're gonna kill the person you wanted to kill. Mm-hmm. But they just stop. They stop midway, and just kind of like go on their lives, knowing that they fucked up both their lives yeah. completely, trying to go after this petty revenge. It it, it kind of feels like the story doesn't fit like that. Uh, fit the actual like theme of a post-apocalyptic world kind of like uh what Detroit I mean, became human it became like uh so sil- like civil rights movement too like it, it didn't explore yeah, it, like it, the actual it, it, it didn't explore actual like a- rights, yeah, it didn't explore ai at all pretty much yeah it, it's, it's explored like, it, it, that one explored machines as slaves it, it's like and he tried yeah, to like it, put it, like a slave it, revolts it's like it's like machines as second class citizens yeah, like, like that, like the AI in in the church became become human is is like what, isn't it? It's kind of like an al- analogy to slaves, instead of like uh, like properly exploring artificial intelligence. Yeah, I feel it feels like that. Like the last was two kind of misses the point of a po- post apocalyptic world. Yeah, like, instead, instead of trying to find peace, you find resolution, and the resolution is not found. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, the Last of Us basically got away with like most of the rewards that I feel like just should have been like more spread out to the other teams. And Among Us won. Uh, yeah, Among yeah. Us won, which is which <laughs> is weird because it wasn't released at the, it wasn't released in 2020. It was released like five years ago. No, yeah, I was in 2018, no? 2018. Basically five years and ago. And I don't understand why they got awards for it now, like recognition now. It's like Well, I mean that, that that one just seemed like it was like like here. This this game really came out in twenty twenty. But not really. Fortnite mm-hmm. should have won Game of the Year. Again? Then you have yeah. Fall Guys. Is that one Game of the Year? The year came out? Yep. Fortnite? Nope. I'll tell you, uh, Fortnite won an award. It was like a best best ongoing game. I remember correctly. Yeah, I'm pissed. What does that mean? Best ongoing game? <laughs> game? Like, aren't all games ongoing? <laughs> well, like, it, it's more like for like... Uh, they, they consider games with updates frequently. Yeah. It's like oh. ongoing. So was Smash part of that? Dude, can't yeah. believe it beat out League. Damn. Well, league. Because oh, I mean, I'm pretty sure league I mean, would be considered been going on for ongoing. like ten years. Yeah, so it w- would it be considered on Destiny was on there too, wasn't it? Destiny two was what on the fuck, Valorant really? Damn, and Fortnite one. Uh, but Destiny two has been going strong actually. <laughs> now, yeah. What yeah. about Team Fortress? Shut up. 
that Team Fortress I, Team Fortress 2 was on nah, there too. Fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> nah, <laughs> don't, 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 don't try to be my friend again. Fuck wow, you. Fuck All the you out of this podcast. I'm not going to your. Party. Anyways, we're moving on. Uh, let's talk about how fucking Cyberpunk sucks, sucks dick. Why do you come? Oh you, yeah, dude, I have a lot about. I have a lot to say about nice. that. I have a lot to say. Can't about believe that. it. Was All right, we'll say it within Sony a minute. Store. Within a minute, yeah. <laughs> I'm just playing. You like, guys, I'm gonna make a whole new. I'm gonna make uh, Cyberpunk expectations part two. <laughs> uh, yeah, Cyberpunk is kind of a mess. Not gonna lie, uh, for sure it shouldn't have come out this year. I'm surprised. Though, I'm, though, keep I'm, in mind, I'm, do you play the PC version? Yeah, I play. I played on my fucking overheating piece of shit that I bought three months ago that I haven't. I play the PC version, which is that which actually runs, uh, smoothly? which is supposed to be the best which version runs. to play it. Okay. Yeah, it's the best. It's the only, pretty much the only way to play it, unless you have a next gen console, like an actual pro- a proper next gen console. PS five or series. Or series. So X. you you can play um Cyberpunk PS four and it'll run smoothly on PS five. Nope. No, 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 no. You you can play it on PS four, but if you don't have the current version of PS four, like the newest version of PS four, uh, it's not gonna. It's, 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 yeah, gonna, it's gonna run poorly. You're gonna run it at like 15 frames a second. Uh, yeah, 15 frames per second. And everything's gonna look like shit. It's basically like the like, only the like the PS4 and the Xbox ones that have like the the brick the power brick. I don't know. Do, you, do, you, I mean, he wouldn't know. But it's just basically the base versions the, of the Xbox, the base, yeah, Xbox yeah, one, the older, the PS4 will run like the worst kind, and it's atrociously bad. Where like it feels irresponsive, and there's a lot of super popping. Yeah. Like, you basically get like basic meshes of the character models, yeah, and they wouldn't show details until like a minute after. Yeah, like you're standing it, right in front of them. Oh, they wouldn't like they wouldn't render properly, and and like the game is just super buggy, super glitchy, and a lot of that it's like you c- it can kind of o- overlook it for me at least because if you're willing to go through, yeah, it, it's only because you have a PC because you you can run at a better frame rate consistently yeah. than. The old console version. I mean, there's t- I mean, there's times where I call my my car and it goes through the entire environment while taking damage and it gets to me, it hits me and explodes and it ki- and I die. <laughs> so I had that happen to me like three times. Or you can have like things and cutscenes not show up. Yeah, so, not show up. So there was like a scene where like a guy's like eating like uh, ramen, s- like ramen, and he's, he's not like there. Eating. It's just the cu- it's just the he's cup just and like, the chopsticks uh, floating. He's like with chopsticks. He's supposed to be like eating as you're talking to him, but he's, he doesn't have anything. So it's just like an air, and he's like chopsticks. Like maybe that's exclusive to your version. Yeah, like all the all those. Dude, what if they're all just exclusive? My my fucking <laughs> my my yeah exclusive bugs, but <laughs> yeah, there's that, and there's a lot of la- like the lack of just basic RPG elements, especially in like the character customization. I have no problem with the skill tree. The skill tree is pretty well designed. It feels very grindy. Like you that actually need to be dedicated to a certain. Uh, branch of the skill tree, yeah, to make that effective. Uh, but like, you can't, you can't choose your character's weight. You can't choose their height. That's super basic stuff. Yeah, like, that's like, dude, the um, me I mean, character. The, that, the, I was about to the, say the main problem yeah. would be because how the cutscenes are established because every since everything's in first person, yeah, the camera angled and the cam and the how you approach in the game environment. It has to be static for the sake of character, because character has to look at your characters looking in your eyes, and then they they are set up in a way where they they, they can walk around you, and yeah. know the cutscene. So there, there's reasons as to why the, that the, is. Why, but that, but the whole reason of a first person experience is to be immersed. So if you can't build a yeah, character that's like of, within, but there's also a lot of games where you can play first person, but you never see your character. The like, thing I could think of is Far Cry Three. Well, yeah, sure, but you're not customizing that character. Right. You're not. You're not making that character you're not from spending, scratch. Like, two hours adjusting. Like, yeah, like, like make, You're not spending three hours making Peter Griffin. Yeah, but and there's, to there's not, also to some only things in the game where like character stats affect character choice dialogue, and but but you don't have the freedom but, in choosing your, and he, your dialogue. Well, and, and, and another thing about that writing, the story is okay. I like. I I feel intrigued by it. But the whole thing, this is this is with every RPG that's come out in like modern like modern modern consoles. At least to me, they always advertise. Yeah, all these choices they 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 affect how the story plays out. But it's it's just like, hey, do you want to make this bad like bad choice? We're gonna miss this content, or do you want to make this choice to miss this content? 
it's not it doesn't feel like it's changing much it still feels like it's just like the main thing to do to change that is to do side quests even that side quests have you have you, pl- have you played cyberpunk no, no i have not played cyberpunk it's i've seen a li- lot of it. it's literally the thing that i worried about that worried me the most the witcher 3 oh yeah had great side quests well written fuck you i'm not even gonna talk anymore dude what just keep going no, i'm just Fuck I'm just fucking with you, dude. Okay. I'm, not, I'm, taking, I'm not taking your binnies. No, it's gonna be awkward. The, the, the witch, the, 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 the witch. I am mad. The Witcher three had fantastic side quests, right? Dude, well mad. written. There, even though some of them were short, some of them were story like story missions in and of, of themselves. I've only come across two side quests that were proper side quests that had branching stories. How many have you played total though? A lot of them. I'm like. No, but like, how, how, okay. How well, here's the thing. Here's the thing about. I've only come across those two. There's a lot of them in the environment, but as far as how they play out, it's this person gives you a job. You go and do that job, and there's, essentially, it's you go in there, you save someone, you go in there, you you hack something, or you go in there and you el- eliminate something. That's the only three th- yeah. things that play out. The only thing that changes is the context. And even then, the context isn't even that interesting. Like, it's 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 dumb. And then, like, there's side activities. And then the side activities are the same thing. Like, you go you go in there. The cop, like, the, the side activities are actually cops giving you kind of jobs or sort of, sort of thing. Yeah, they're, like, you they're, go pri- they're, like, privatizing they're, police force. They're, like, uh, mm-hmm. they're just, like, going in this general area. Clear out the enemies, loot this one thing, and then you're done, and you get money. And there's no there, and then in the side activities, there's no context at all. There's no actual like side content. It's just do this thing so you can get money, so you can buy upgrades, and that's it. There's no there's no lore in, in it, it, unless you actually pay attention to the characters that are in so, the, the side so activities. So what you wanted is side missions that add to what you're doing. Add to the add to, add the, to the fucking the lore, like add, add to, to the, the story. story. Like not just like hey do this for me thanks yeah yeah and then that's it and then you never hear about them again. The only the only thing that stays constant. Well, have you finished the game? No, I'm only thirty hours in. Holy shit! I'm only like, thirty hours in. Yeah, but like in the context of like all of that, because at this because I keep waiting for that for more side quests like the two branch like the two branching out ones that I that I. Um, I keep looking for those. I keep looking for ones that continue on. That aren't just one mission and that's oh, yeah, it. They, they, yeah, okay. I want like one mission, another mission, and then the final mission, yeah, and that, the, and, that, that, and that completes the side quest. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a chain. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like like proper quests. But I've only come across two. One of them, pretty much, just comes from the from, from playing the main story. Yeah, it's like the, a, the other one came from I, I don't even remember what. Uh. But. It just they're not side quests. They're side they're still side activities, but with context. And then they're side activities with no context. Yeah, I mean that yeah, but that's that's just going to your spe- expectations of the series. Granted, the, yeah, they didn't really fulfill a lot of things in development. They didn't. I think development time is also one of the biggest factors because it took eight years because the game was announced back in twenty twelve. Well, I'm sure. Well, was I'm sure. Really? Yeah. 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 It, was, it was released. The, fir- the first. The it was first announced. Trailer. Before the new co- like Xbox One and PS4 were even released, yeah. So they had this whole they made this announcement way back, and then they have they kept on upgrading the visuals, mm-hmm. and up to the point where like they're using the, the modern graphics make it hard to run the highest settings. Mm-hmm. So they they spent so much time in developing for like the the highest quality graphics, but they never they neglected the console versions. And they uh, treated it as if the console versions were just as good as the PC oh, version. I don't hey, what understand you, why they didn't just make it a PC exclusive. What do you guys think of their apology? Saying like, because you guys saw how they released a statement saying, hey, we're sorry that we basically conned you. How all the footage that we showed was basically just P- PC. Yeah. Like I mean, our mega... And not only that. <laughs> like, hey, we're a big company, so we're going to show all the footage on our super fucking computer the, that can run anything. More, and then, speaking, they're being more generous than other uh, companies by, like Bethesda by offering refunds, offering refunds, and then they say they'll they'll pay out of pocket for themselves if you can't get it from a retailer, physical retailer that rejects your mm-hmm. deal. I mean Bethesda, w- but granted they, that will be 
that will already be over by the time this video comes out. Yeah, yeah I think so. I mean, How long was it supposed to last? Uh, until uh, the twenty first. Damn. Okay. So about yeah. literally next week. That's it. That's it. Two days. Yeah. yeah. And to th like, what do you guys think about? Like the Sony store pulling it from the store. Well, Sony pulling it from the that's store. Just, that's just them. I that's, mean, that's, that's a smart that's move. Yeah, that, that's yeah. a good move. That's that's like keep like, keep yeah. people from buying a, a game that doesn't even run on the console. Yeah, if you're gonna yeah. if you're gonna keep hearing shit about the game, why why bother having it on the store? You're gonna have Did more. Did Xbox do the same though? I think no. I they didn't. No, something. they're offering refunds, but they didn't take off the store. There you go. Yeah, because I I thought I heard something similar to it, but because technically I'm most people most people don't even have the old G. Uh, the original Xbox One. Yeah, not anymore. Most of them are dead or right, people, why, just, people like, got why would upgraded. You have them? You'll have the, either the S or the X. X. Okay. Or even the series. Game Marcus just has his original one. But That's because yeah. he's poor. Uh, Shout out to Marcus. <laughs> so, yeah, Cyberpunk, I went into it with little expectation because I didn't want it to be I mean, I don't know, man. You're, you're, going, you're going off. You literally just said that you wanted something like The Witcher, and which Witcher is a fantastic. Well, yeah, because it, it there's it's impossible to have not no expectation, especially with the track record the CD Projekt Red has. This, they only this, made The Witcher series in date in like Polish ports since their development history. But so still, that's that's wait, that's, three, that's, that's pretty much that's pretty development much that's history just is basically the, just the Witcher, the Witcher trilogy Witcher and Polish translations for mm -hmm. other games. Polish translations? They're a Polish company? Yes. Yeah, like the sausage. Yeah. Fuck. Like Vienna sausage. Yeah, so because m bro, like early on the, in the company they had Polish translations, they own the storefront, GOG.com. Um, then they also... And then the Witcher series. The first Witcher game sucks dick. It's just awful. Well, it's, aw it's awful, yeah. But Isn't the third one generally conceived as the, the better it, one? Every... Yeah, Witcher 2 was fine... It was fine. Witcher three, fantastic. So there's there's been a gradual shift in like the quality of the games. Yeah. And Cyberpunk was yeah. just like literally the worst dive they could have possibly gone. Mm. If it only would have been derailed if they didn't release it on Xbox One and PS4. They should have. They should have just. If if they didn't do that, they they, the game delayed. wouldn't receive that much shit. Like they should have just delayed again at this point. Like all the bad press, all like, oh sorry, we're doing this. Mm -hmm. Like they they should have just delayed. Yeah, twenty seventy seven. That, that could have been the year. But even still, some of the some of the things in the actual game are kind of disappointing. They're kind of just cookie cookie cutter. I want I don't want to say that shit. Just basic. Are like I mean basic RPG. It's very Ubisoft. It's very Ubisoft, which is a very which is very, very bad to me. Sure. Okay. I'll probably have a different opinion if I played it, but I I don't have a copy of it right now. I will get it later, and I'll, get I'll try a copy it. and get a refund. No, I'll yeah play I'll, it, try to play it within one night. I'll get it on the One X, the upgraded version, and see how that plays out because technically the console version is generally shittier. And I'll I'll see if like I uh, if I agree or disagree with you on that. But I think that'll be it for Cyberpunk. Is there no more games? That's it. That's it. Okay, and, then I want and then we were supposed to do what? With how, how much I want to talk about Halo, but... You go ahead. Yeah, go Get for it. Mention. The Halo has a big... Sh okay, so Halo released a new content update where they talk... They they showcased the new visuals of the game, which look a lot better. And they showed off... They showed off little aspects of multiplayer. So generally, the reception have of, for that was really it's positive. Pre it's pretty hype, yeah. And basically, it's like a big shift like graphically from the July reveal a lot of people hated to this reveal is it still like bro, does it have like the colors are still like the main oh problem shit. was the lighting and they were di darker no like the, the the lack of lighting like mechanics in place like global illumination is like a a big aspect because i like the new renders of the characters i don't oh, the new armors yeah did they make them darker or, or oh, is no, it those, all the those, same are, those are almost like Complete redesigns, aren't they? Uh, the armor, especially. I mean, they're a complete departure from the fucking Power Rangers of Power of, of, of uh, Halo Four and Halo, Halo 5. Five. No, but they said that here's here's a cool thing. Here's here's a weird thing though. They said they're gonna release every armor piece in Halo Infinite. So every single piece of armor that was in every single Halo game will be available to be used in Halo Infinite. Fuck, that's a lot. That's a lot, and that's a lot of trash too. Because there's. 300 and something for Halo 5 alone and oh that God. was just presets of like 
Holy shit, really? Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing about some of them are re- some of them are like re-pattern designs. Yeah, there, there's like five five of the same armors but different patterns, basically. So okay, so roughly speaking, there's a hundred plus for Halo Five alone, and those are just presets of like the whole body. So you had the helmet and then you had the whole body. Mm-hmm. That was a preset stuff, and then other Halo games you had like variations in shoulder pads, knees, mostly in arms, Halo Reach, helmets, and etc. Halo Reach had that. Uh, Halo Three only had helmets, chest, and shoulders, shoulders, and then they had like a back. That no, they, no, the back was the back like, was with was, combined was the chest with the face. chest. Right. So, so far the new reveal is nice, and uh, basically the this new release schedule is fall twenty twenty one. Oh shit! Damn, but, that's almost a whole year. Which is when Cyberpunk should come out again. <laughs> Cyberpunk release two? Cyberpunk two. Cyberpunk 2 2077 Yeah so hey, right, now, right now Halo Infinite has a lot more to prove Given how How much, much delayed No how delayed Cyberpunk was And how fucked up it is now Yeah So that that's literally all they have going for them I wonder when Cyberpunk for the next gen is going to come out they re- Yeah they didn't release an update on that I think they're too probably, busy f- Probably until the, ne- the, fir- the next patch The next big patch uh, they're making two oh, patches: one in January, February, and December twenty-first. Which one's the, which? When's the first DLC coming out? For already s- for Cyberpunk? Yeah. No, they, no, they're making a separate multiplayer mode, but that's that's not scheduled for release until like a few years. Oh really? Holy shit! Really? Yeah. There's gonna that's be it. Sep- that, there's that, gonna be a separate multiplayer mode. That's if it gets better and people actually want to play it. I mean, I I imagine some people want to play it, especially yeah. PC people. PC people have hardly as much gripes as console players. Yeah. So in that front, Halo Infinite has a lot more to prove given they had a they visually it looks a lot better and that was kind of the only problem people had with it. And guys kind of settled now, but I want to see gameplay and I want to have my hands on it. And they they said they'll they'll have a beta coming out before the release of the game. And I just yeah, want to I want to see before, the multiplayer a day before. A day before. That's so yeah. More a nightmare. But yeah, that that's that's not <laughs> what Halo has to go through now. All right, guys. So well, Cyberpunk is not an RPG. We 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 still have to talk about our Christmas uh, specials. Oh so fuck, dude! We'll be right back after this commercial break. Hey, paisanos! It's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. We're with the Mario Brothers and plumbing's a game. We're not like the others who get all the fame. If your sink is in trouble, you can call us on the double. We're faster than the others. You'll be hooked on the brothers. And like that, those are those are mul- those are multiplayer. Those are multiplayer, already. so other people other people see them. Not yet. Anyway, yeah, we've been recording. I don't give a fuck, dude. I'm talking about Cyberpunk. Okay, and we already talked about it though. Let's you're talk about it again. You're this is the like Cyberpunk punk Christmas right special. <laughs> Cyberpunk Christmas special. Dude, dude, so, fuck, yeah. so tell us again. Why do you so hate basically, it? right? Fanta's gonna be skinny. San, uh, <laughs> you can't customize Santa. Why? Uh, and so he's he blue. Can't be a fat fuck. He's no. blue. Yeah, he's blue. I about that. I knew I was gonna say that. Anyways, uh, transitioning from that si- from that amazing cyberpunk discussion we just had. Yeah, you know, fuck you. What the <laughs> fuck, dude? I mean, yo, I was me, just joking about it right now. I'm talking about something that I'm passionate about, and you fucking just roast <laughs> me about it, dude. I mean, I I'm don't being passionate about it. At all. Well, then again, you well, haven't played the game. Yeah, so. yeah you haven't played the game. No, but he's talking about, he's talking about RPG stuff. I'm like, whatever, too. But he's like, no, this is not how the game should be. Well, playing. play the game then. Play the game then. I'll get it like. In two weeks, bro. They should make. Uh, it's gonna be relevant by then. They should make Cyberpunk a JRPG. <laughs> Fuck. That's that's the same thing. <laughs> We're like <laughs> visuals. It would, pro- it would probably be. It would probably be better. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, but you can ah. do your character model. Anyways, oh, now could. we're going to talk about Christmas specials. Dun, it, dun, dun, it is dun, December. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Damn. Um, Christmas kind of snuck up on us. Yeah. Because we didn't prepare for this at all. Am- it, among the really things snuck that snuck up, up on us. us this year. At least, like, it, it really doesn't feel like Christmas at all. It just feels like September. It hardly ever snowed here, right? Yeah. It's not like a few days. It I has some snowed. crashes and then that's it. Uh, that's like that's like a blanket of like the tiniest blanket of snow. That's yeah, that, that one even that, that one day, right? Like what? Like Wednesday? Yeah, yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, for yeah. those people who don't know, we live in Chicago, so bro, what the fuck? Why'd you tell them? Yeah, dude, uh, West Side. Yeah, I I, I couldn't Sorry. say like throw it down. I couldn't say like Cicero or Berwin because you'd be like, where? What, what the? What? F- yeah, dude. Or like you know, we, we can't say we're on Ogden. 
We're not on Ogden. Exactly. Yeah, That's we're on 26th. Holy. We are not going to know where that is. I just say Chicago. Yeah, dude. So anyway, so Christmas, Christmas specials. specials. <laughs> yeah, um, we're going to discuss Christmas specials, uh, which is something most media does. Like, Literally every TV show or movie has a Christmas special. Uh, Except for like most I can't, of the TV I, shows. It's hard to think of a, no. a, of a show that doesn't have a Christmas special at some point. Every major popular media has a yeah, Christmas special. Yeah, so basically if you don't have a Christmas special, you're not popular. Yeah. <laughs> if, you don't have a, if you don't have a Christmas special, you're garbage. Fuck, then we shouldn't talk about him at all. Does JoJo have a Christmas special? <laughs> no. Fuck, Ooh, yeah, garbage. JoJo's garbage. Then <laughs> you had to find out this the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> One Piece is not a Christmas special either. Who? One, One Piece out of a thousand episodes. That means it's extra garbage. <laughs> what? <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Honestly. Really? They don't go to like Bro, the North Pole and save Christmas. San- and I'm surprised Santa price. isn't Santa isn't a fucking character in that show. They have a winter uh, arc, but it's not like Christmas Bruh. thing at all. It's like super depressing too. Fuck. <laughs> 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 I mean, oh, that's just one piece in general. It's just, it's just super depressing. Damn, what, what so what's your favorite Christmas special from one piece? Wait. You don't have one. <laughs> let's let let's start our discussion with. Do you think they're relevant? What? No. Let, let, I guess let's just go one by one and, and start uh, saying like which Christmas specials really stand out to us, and can it be like which, one, which ones are all media? Oh uh, yeah, out of anything except for movies, no Christmas movies because those are films, not yeah. specials. I mean, special because it's a movie. Okay, so video games, right? <laughs> so Halo, every year. Shut the fuck up. It's Christmas themed. That's it. That's all I gotta say. Really? And, and do it's a Christmas themed yep. Halo? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. It's yep. like, but like most games do that. Yeah. yeah most, like, a lot of live service games do that. Yeah, there's like the, a like the, Christmas update. Yeah, Destiny 2 and cheat like its nose. Fortnite. Minecraft. Fortnite is basically that. Yeah. Minecraft. Dude, Minecraft, yeah, you just go to the um, My, yeah, go section. Yeah, go to the biome and just find, yeah. like, find a tree and just like, yeah, there's a star. Exactly. Like, oh, see? Christmas. Buy the, <laughs> buy the Christmas pack every, every year. Every... Every year, like, like, can you imagine if it's sixty bucks? <laughs> the, the skin pack <laughs> every year. <laughs> just, just the Christmas patch. Like, oh, it's a new that, one. That's just a sports game at that point. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Anywho, uh, yeah. I guess I'll go first. Uh, there was a, uh, there's always like a TV special. It's like a grandma got ran over by a reindeer. Oh fuck yeah. Oh fuck yeah. It, it's like it's weird because it's like a leak. There's like some legal proceedings in that like show but like i still find it really enjoyable because it's like there there's like the people who are like stingy about christmas and then they later like go grow to accept it and be more forgiving of the situation Mm -hmm. and it's just generally more positive vibes than other like christmas specials i i feel like there's like real heartwarming stuff coming out of like grandma guy ran over by a reindeer despite how the title is fucked up didn't they kidnap her too bruh Oh, yeah, right. well, that's really heartwarming. Yeah, like after they run over, they're like, fuck, we can't leave any evidence. And then we took it to the North Pole. <laughs> it. It's like weekend at no Bernie's little grandma. It was, a hit, it was a hit and run. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, wait, was it? Technically, yes. Oh, yeah. I, Bruh. What am I thinking of? I think it was, it was it that one. I don't know. I'm thinking of, I think I th- I'm thinking of a different thing. Oh, weekend at Bernie's? Yeah. No, we can't. Bruh. Can you think of a Christmas special that doesn't have like heartwarming shit? No, that's uh, all. Uh, they, they all have like spirit. they have like Hallmark movies, right? Yeah, basically. Like Die Hard. Just kidding. <laughs> basically, no, that's not that's special. A that's a film. That's a f- live film. No, but it's super. It's fucking dark because you're actually be killing people. Yeah, dude. Uh, Mary Madagascar. Dude, I was gonna say that <laughs> one. I was literally gonna say that one. I I I think Mary Madagascar is probably one of my favorite. Fuck, not I only because it came it, it, it came included with the Madagascar DVD that I got from Sam's Club like 2005, <laughs> <laughs> but it's actually pretty. Le- it was legit decent. It was fucking yeah, funny. It's Those fucking penguins are funny as fuck, dude. Those penguinos? Yeah, <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Hola, pinguinita. Where one of them fa- like is like falling in love with a like girl deer, I think. Bro, I imagine fucking Rico like body body fucking the a deer. Early, early Sims, <laughs> the early Sims of the era. Rico. Like he like barfs off a vibrator. Wait, I think I'm I think I'm I'm thinking about the wrong one. 
<laughs> what? what? It's the penguins one. Is that Mary Madagascar? No, no the Mary no. Madagascar no, one's no, called the cast. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Like Mary Madagascar has everyone. Like it has Alex, Gloria, where they save Christmas. Who? Alex, Gloria. Alex, Gloria. No, you man. know everyone. Yeah. Only the, the penguins. The main characters of the movie. I, I was I was referring to the penguins one. Oh, okay. The penguins are way more fucking popular than. Yeah, and yeah the main cast. that show was that show was fun. Penguins of Madagascar. No, it yeah. was uh the special that came with the DVD Madagascar. Uh, because uh, penguins in the Christmas some shit I don't fucking remember. But it, they're in that grandma's house, and the dogs like fucking fucking. Oh no, they 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 put Re- not Rico, which is the retarded one. Rico, uh, no private. Private, yeah. Oh, private. <laughs> oh, the one oh, was like, oh, you, where you one. try to fuck your girlfriend, but you actually fuck her dog or something. The fuck is wrong? With yeah, him? they wrap him up in a Christmas present, and I think the grandma like takes him. Oh, as a chew toy. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I remember that one. Uh, okay, I remember. That's that the one. one. That's the one I'm talking about. I'm not talking about Mary Madagascar. I'm talking about the penguins one. Yeah, and then they fucking set her house on fire. Or some shit. <laughs> that doesn't have a happy ending. <laughs> Dude, what do you mean? The main characters escaped. That's happy oh, ending right, right there. Oh. You're right. Oh, grandma's fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma's fucking ah, <laughs> the ah, dog <laughs> 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 with the chew toy. <laughs> what scissors? <laughs> <It's not laughs> <ugly dog. laughs> Bro, why do you say that all the time? All right, uh, I know it's an ugly dog. All right, Aldo. <laughs> what about me? I like push? the pr- uh, I like I like the prick time rush. I like the big time rush. Uh, big time Christmas <laughs> with some <laughs> dog. <laughs> <laughs> Prick time, bro. Yeah, dude. Prick time, Fuck yeah. All right, what happens in that special, huh? Snoop Dogg comes out. Okay, yeah. and that's that was the iCarly one. No, that's Big Time Rush. You know, uh oh oh oh. <laughs> Zach's going to trap music. Yeah, it's, it goes into uh. Goes into like beats, by Dre. Fuck, dude. I was gonna say that. Yeah, fuck you, Ali. Piece of shit. <laughs> Worthless piece of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, that's really all I had to say about that. I don't watch a lot of TV, and I never really did. Yeah, you do. I mean, what, what about Drake and Josh special? Oh yeah, I, I, Christmas. I, that was the that was the final movie. I don't remember that one. That I remember a fairly out. I I, re- I remember a fairly out Christmas. That was, that was the the. Finale. There you go. You said you didn't watch a lot of TV. What the fuck? Like we're you? talking about Drake and Josh. Check check me, bitch. But yeah, I think that was the finale, the Christmas special. The finale of the entire fucking oh, show. Drake and Josh. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 I don't remember that. that. I don't remember that either. Yeah, this is after uh, they go to Hollywood and they get kidnapped. No, that's a that's a different one. That's why that, I'm saying it's after. That's the second movie. The first one, the Hollywood one. Yeah, but I thought this, I could have sworn the series still went on after the first movie. No, that, that's why it okay. went the first movie, and then it went on, and then the second movie was the Christmas one. And that's where it ended. Hmm. Yeah. A weird one though. It's like a weird place to end it, but whatever. Yeah, that's the fairly odd Christmas. That's the only one I remember. And I even though I I don't even remember Which one, the live action one. He, I think he, no. Yes. Yeah, I remember the live action ones. I don't think you're referring to that. No. <laughs> the third the, the third fairy art movie was the fairy art Christmas or some shit like that. Then there's also the the uh, oh I'm thinking Jimmy Jimmy Neutron uh, crossover one. Oh. <laughs> I mean, weird. cool one, but it's not a Christmas one. Yeah, that's not Christmas. You guys remember uh, Shrek the Halls? Yeah. Definitely. Dude, no. Shrek the House is big. Dude, Shrek just got into the con- uh, uh, Library oh, yeah. of Congress just this year, so congratulations to them. Oh, Ooh. for cultural significance? Yeah. Right yeah. next to Batman? Imagine. <laughs> the Imagine Dark Knight. Like, he's like on the library. He's like, hey, man, cultural significance, Shrek? Smash Mouth will be entitled. Fuck. Smash Hollywood. Mouth is like, man, we got a character up into meme levels. So, so, we yeah. meme the fuck out of Shrek so much. He's culturally significant. Yeah, we no, we mean out of that. We mean the fuck out of that song so much that we ruined the whole band's career. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no one took him seriously after that. Yeah, what the fuck did they do after that? They, Nothing. They're still they, doing they, the they, same they thing. They smashing mouths. They didn't even come out for Shark too. <laughs> but like, what? What? I I think I saw like something. Oh, I saw like one of their concerts and all. One of was kind of sad. And how a lot of people would be like, hey, play Smash Mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, play Smash Mouth? Even though that's the name of the band? The of the <laughs> I mean, play All <laughs> Star. Play, play Smash, Smash Mouth. Mouth. We are Smash Mouth. Smash Mouth, play Smash Mouth. They're like, oh, hey, play All Star. And, all, and they would all look defeated. <laughs> hey, do it again. That's, that's like just most one hit wonder bands. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, but no, like, they have the Nazar face, but that's just the cover. No, what's your nose? I'm a believer. There you go. Uh, there you go. I'm a believer. 
Yeah, but that's just a cover. And that's I'm a cover. Not even an original song. song. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, man, just like Weezer. Ooh. Beverly Hills. Anywho. Yeah. Okay, well. So we'll Christmas specials? Yeah. Anyone Christmas, got anyone else? A Christmas special that I, like, actually find really funny and all is the original Rudolph the Red Nose Ranger. Just because they would bully the fuck out of him. Yeah, oh, he deserves it. Oh, yeah, they're it. fucking dicks. Yeah, bro. Like, they would... They would, they is, would that the, is that like the... the stop him. Uh, yeah, stop, stop motion, motion one? Yeah. yeah. How they bully him. And even the coach would be like, hey, fuck you too. <laughs> you stupid red nose piece of shit. Yeah, and then like the moment he became useful. Oh, everyone's like, oh, dude. You're like... Yeah, I, I fuck with you. Oh, I fuck with man. this guy. Like, hey, I always fuck with even you. Even though like technically there's always been blizzards. And it's like, oh, this year, man. This year you really came through for us. <laughs> yeah, and re- yeah. There's literally it's the North Pole. There's literally always blizzards, and like for some reason, yeah, we can't do it this year. Like, yeah. Oh, like, we're just fucked. We we just have no vision. Yeah, like fuck, dude. Like we we can. How make bright do you think that shit is? Well, his nose probably like the sun. Probably. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 Imagine, <laughs> fucking would have <laughs> killed everyone, dude. Just like fucking. Like, no, that, that's that's some death metal. <laughs> hey, no, Rudolph, that's do you think? That's some death metal analysis <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> it would have do your thing fucking incinerates the whole town <laughs> it's like oh calm down calm down buddy it's a little too heat it's a little too it's hot like, for it's us it's like a fucking think. nuke <laughs> <laughs> yeah I love like, imagine. just imagine a map imagine like a map and a pencil like dragging a pencil through the map, okay? Jeez. Like a big ass pencil. That's what Rudolph's nose would do. Like <laughs> with the eraser, it would like scar, oh, every, every scar, fucking scar, house scar. he goes to. <laughs> Fuck in Japan, they're like not again. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, okay, imagine every. <laughs> like what the fuck did we do this time? <laughs> Dude, imagine every year. That, that's like, perfect for hentai. <laughs> like Rudolph oh my god! Our earth and all that, like w- rebuilding civilization, and then once December twenty fifth, <laughs> you see the fucking balls line. You're like, fuck, not again. No, no. They were we were building civilization, but we still remember. <laughs> <laughs> like every year, you just oh, have oh. to rebuild again. <laughs> like fucking the, awesome. The survivors have to rebuild. <laughs> the survivors. Yeah, the fucking dumb retarded the, survivors. The underground people. That's why. Everyone, uh, every year we get stupider. <laughs> Fuck, Fuck damn. <laughs> damn they're, they're really, yeah, man. We're off the Red Nose Reindeer, man. What a fantastic, yeah. heartwarming Christmas movie. Wait, right? right? remember the uh, Nicolas Cage movie, Knowing? The one where yeah. the Earth. Yeah. Knows. Yeah. <laughs> the one where, like, the Earth gets um, engulfed in flames and all. Uh huh. Yeah, how it what looks. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, yeah Earth, everyone, everyone basically dies. But, like, the um, you see the city. Like get scorched by the flames mm-hmm. and all that, because like basically the sun had a like a what is, what is it called a gamma rays. Oh, like a solar flare. Yeah, oh, solar you, you flare. Don't and the solar the Hulk. <laughs> no, no, but like, <laughs> <huh>. <laughs> but like uh, they had a, a solar flare so strong that it reached Earth, so it fucking scorched everything. Mm-hmm. And like I could just imagine like the same effect for Rudolph, <laughs> <laughs> like as he's passing by, just. It'd be like, dude, it'd, it'd be like the it'd be like the skeleton the skeleton scene from uh, Terminator where it's yeah. like <laughs> the fence. Uh, death battle, get on that. Fuck. R- R- Rudolph versus the world. Like, yeah. fuck, we need oh to, god. We need to go like half half a mile into the Earth's crust to survive Rudolph. <laughs> you don't think they would have like fucking killed him or put him down by that point? I mean, <laughs> who Santa? Who they're, they're like they're like nah, dude. There's gotta be a Christmas every year. <laughs> Santa's like the world's been too well, naughty. We have to. The see. world's been the world's lived long enough. <laughs> a full year. A full year. Maybe you can put like a bag over his head. Or then he won't see. Like the whole point. Then of his it. fucking head head explodes in the bag. <laughs> it's like, hey Rudolph, you want to go to space? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can't breathe. Well, they can't breathe in space either. <laughs> Fuck, dude. I didn't know. I didn't know Rudolph was an SCP. <laughs> <laughs> oh god Dude that'd be a fucking powerful ass SCP You know what I'm gonna, I'm gonna come up with another Christmas special right now Spongebob <clears throat> Which which one Because there's very oh, the, the, the claymation one Santa's or the coming Santa's coming Santa's coming, coming. coming. Yeah. Tonight <laughs> And Spongebob You be Fuck Who cares <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna make a cyberpunk joke Shut the fuck up about this Game Damn. right How about play the game huh Oh, oh He oh, said you're oh, broke He said you're fucking broke <laughs> Dude, I won't be as bitchy as you right now. Oh, man. yeah, because you don't know how to play good oh, games. Oh, he says you suck at games. We play the same <laughs> shit. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Stab myself. Yeah. <laughs> Rent a dick. <laughs> hey, Christmas specials though, right? Yeah. Hey, bro, you haven't said much. Uh, I'm laughing. 
<laughs> that's it's saying like, something. It's like Lewis. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's like Lewis every podcast. <laughs> oh dude, no, oh, the Star Wars, Star Christmas, Wars specials. Christmas specials. Yeah, yeah that Wait, was be- it's, it's the best. No, bro, I let, my favorite one no, was the Wookiee one. Oh, the episode. The where they were no, like speaking Wookiee. Yeah, and they were speaking Wookiee, and there was a fucking kid with like Wookiee. Well, a Wookiee kid with human features that fucking looked creepy. <laughs> oh wait, there's also he, uh, the Fantastic Episode Three in the movie where they had like the scene with little kids are all gathered around in the one room and Anakin just gave him a sword <gasps> for Christmas the best Did Christmas Anakin special gave him his sword <laughs> the, yeah the I'll best Christmas scene ever <laughs> <laughs> right yeah, through the chest my favorite part well, I can't um, believe they celebrate the birth of Christ in space my, my favorite uh, fuck that's basically it my favorite <laughs> my favorite part for the Star Wars Christmas special was when uh, they were we met Chewbacca's family yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. is it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm attention. talking about the one where, like, the dad's, like, watching porn and, like, jerking off right in front of the family. Yeah, so, like, the, the that, one you're talking about. That's your father. Oh, is that the one you're talking about? Yeah, when there's a little, little fucking creepy-ass Wookiee with human facial features with, like, the eyes and mouth is like... <laughs> I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Yeah, I love that special. I can't believe it hasn't been, like, re-released. I can't believe they... Well, they're making another uh, a Mandalorian Christmas special. Oh. That's Mandalorian though. Yeah, dude. Watch it, dude. What if they bring up, bring back those Wookies? Fuck yeah. And they, they're talking like nothing. Well, we're like, not gonna find out. Okay, we're gonna find out the day off because Luz is gonna spoil it. Yeah, probably. Oh, oh yeah. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna come out like at four thirty-two a.m. and Luz is gonna be already there, like with his phone. No, or be like posted an hour ago. Yeah. Somehow he got, he got it before the actual release date. <laughs> oh, sure, I do. Post the day before. Oh. This is what I get for investing thousands of dollars into Star Wars. Finally, my my financial <laughs> backing has been preserved and <laughs> rewarded. Fuck because Luke, fuck, dude. my life's depressing enough already. Luke, that's I'm the, happy that, he's not a Marvel fan, dude. That's dude. Oh. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? He'll be on that train ride. You think like, though that you go to what like you watch minute. every fucking movie on release pretty much, because you would have been fucked. No, he will watch every movie Basically, on yeah. repeat and gloat how much better they are. Lewis would. See. Louis would be the type of person to walk out of the movie theater and say some shit. Oh, yeah, he would. Like, the, remember, like, said in the group chat, like, oh, hey, remember The Simpsons where they watched the Star Wars episode and yeah, then, yeah, like, yeah. Star Wars oh, movie in theaters? Yeah. And we're like, man, I can't believe that guy is Luke's father. And they were like, ah. Oh. I'm like, yeah, that's you, Louis. That's Louis, dude. And he's like, oh, <laughs> that's what you get for not watching it really. Yeah, that's that's, 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 that's what you get Well, I'm pretty sure every, every like, show has made that joke, but. Yeah. But, I mean, dude. Star Wars Christmas specials Definitely a gem Obviously Not for the like, right reasons though But No for the right reasons No, yeah. Yeah, only, for, no for Lewis is the only reason Because of Star Wars Yeah But you know I like how they I guess more world building In the way of like Everyday life I feel like more things like They're do celebrating that. Christmas A million fucking years ago Yeah Before Christ was even before born Before Christ was born Doesn't no, yeah. really make sense Listen, hey, that, there, I mean there, there's, there's, there's a, a Jesus Flintstones. in every galaxy <laughs> Tell that to the Flintstones uh, Christmas special. Oh my god, for real! What the fuck? We're celebrating Christmas. Celebrating Christmas in <laughs> prehistoric times. Jesus was a dinosaur. <laughs> he was fuck. a rock. Jesus was the asteroid. Fuck. Oh my god, oh, dude. Fuck, he's coming to liberate us from our sins. <laughs> fuck, he kills everything. <laughs> liberate. Rudolph. That's <laughs> Rudolph. It's Rudolph. And Imagine Jesus. Rudolph versus no, Christ. It's, it's Jesus on Rudolph's back. Oh damn! Wait, going down. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Dude, man. We're, <laughs> Anyways, we're like fucking fantastic writers. I like the Simpsons roasting right up with fire. That's my favorite. Oh, the Sims. Yeah, I like the Simpsons episode where uh, with the alien. Actually, the Simpsons roasting on open fire is fucking not great. It's not bad either. It's Whoa, just weird. The Simpsons fan it's just weird. On Simpsons? It's, it's the first episode ever of The Simpsons. Yeah, I was, I was, I was really? Say, like, yeah. yeah it's the first episode. Like, man, that's super get, nervous. Uh, I don't even know, man. Oh, yeah. I know. It's just everyone's yellow. For the some first reason. episode of Simpsons is the Christmas special? Yeah. It's yeah. literally called The Simpsons Christmas special. Imagine Wait, watching that for the first for time. The first episode of the series? Yeah. It's called The Simpsons. Well, they, they, there was a show this before. This is what I meant for, like, the knowing thing. But. A bit? Like every time Rudolph's passing on top, <laughs> like every time Rudolph's passing on top. Oh, <laughs> no, we, can't, we can't show that. To, we can't show that to the fans, bro. Because we're gonna get. Oh, that's family. spoilers. That's spoilers for post post world. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like Rudolph, no. bro. That's gonna happen in like five days. Oh. Um, no, I was like, oh wait, shit, for real, fuck. 
But yeah, there's like a scene where like Lisa's dancing and she's naked. Oh yeah, I remember that <laughs> one. I'm Jeez. like, bro, what the fuck? Wait, no, <laughs> like, no way. Like the yeah. first one. Wait, when that when that show come out? Yeah. Like ninety eight? That the episode released in eighty nine. Eighty nine? Oh yeah. my That's God. older than I thought. It was a ninety show. No. What is a ninety? I mean, show? technically, it's the nineties because it came out in eighty nine. No, because the Chris Special's first episode. Yeah, yeah. she's like. But, uh, yeah, like she was me. dancing in, the, in front of school, in front of everyone. Yeah, it is, she's, she's like naked, naked basically. basically. <laughs> like, I don't know. They didn't have that many colors episode. to work with back then. I guess. Yeah. They couldn't draw in pants for her. They couldn't draw her pants, so they just. They never had a little skirt. They never gave her pants to her, right? They always gave her the skirt. Yeah. No, no, but this one is like she's skirtless. She's. It's a special skirt. So it's like imagine like a Hawaiian skirt, like like this, and just has lines. Yeah, but imagine having a budget of nothing. What? A budget of nothing. Okay. <laughs> and then her legs are painted you like yellow. That reminds me of South way Park. Up. Then that reminds me of the first episode of South Park. I think it's worse than the first episode of South Park. Oh yeah. The first episode of South Park isn't that like Cartman gets probed? Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, I mean that's supposed to be like, you know. Yeah, that, I mean that, that's, that's a fantastic start to like, Well, I think the you like we're not meant to see Lisa Lisa's the, naked. The fucking. I um, mean. Sure, Rule 34 can solve that problem <laughs> for you real quick. Bro, what the fuck are kids? <laughs> I think well, they're, they're eight years old. Tell that to the fucking Rule 34 artists. Fair. Fair enough. I think the pilot for South Park was uh, Jesus versus uh, Santa Claus, wasn't it? Yeah. Jesus versus Santa? Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, I think that was a pilot. Well, well, it like, was, it start, the whole show started because of the, that short, honestly. Oh, yeah. yeah it, it was, was a, a short, short, and then it was like re released in like. Because it was so popular enough. Wasn't the pilot made with, like, stop motion paper? Yeah. yeah. And so it was the first episode, I think. And then after that... It after the second one is like, full animation. After the first episode, is just animated. Yeah, which, cool. which was weird because I always thought it was stop motion. It looked like... It, I mean, it was it was pretty good. The whole first season looked like it was, like... The yeah, because it was just, like, so weird the animation was. Because it would be that kind of, like... So distinct. Yeah. I haven't watched South Park in like years. It's funny sometimes it, though. It stays relevant. It's, it's, it, it, I mean, they it, haven't released anything. It, as the series of yet. always try to stay relevant. Other than the Christmas special. Just the I pandemic, mean, the, the pandemic, pandemic special. special. I'm surprised they haven't released anything. Pandemic special was fun. Definitely watch it with your parents, like I did. Yeah, if yeah. they're still alive. <laughs> did you really? Yeah, my my mom likes South Park. What did your dad say? My dad's just on his phone. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like <laughs> when's the next uh, soccer match? Yeah. <laughs> I called it, man. I fucking know these people. At the back of my hand. What, Mexicans? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you're in the soccer? backyard. I'm just kidding. He doesn't watch soccer, does he? Not really. What does your dad do? Watch football. <laughs> watch what? Wait, football. That, that's that's still soccer. No, that's American football. That was still soccer. That's not, hashtag not my football. <laughs> hashtag not my football. All right. Any other Christmas specials we got right here? I think yeah. we should end it. No. Nope. What the fuck? We barely talk about Christmas. <laughs> we still got like an extra hour or two to go. Bro, what? I need to go pick up my sister. Fuck your sister. Nice. Bro, what the fuck? Whoa, whoa. Calm down, Alabama. Yeah, I meant it. <laughs> 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 what about the uh, How the Grinch Stole Christmas? That's oh, you a, mean the that, movie? That's no. just a genuine classic, though. Oh, wait, the new one? No, not the new one. No, just, that's the movie. Just a uh, special. The Dr. Seuss one that's like 30 minutes long. Oh, yeah, that, that was just and sweet. And typically, like, it, it did a lot of world building, and it's kind of like a small world, but... Damn, bro, world building? What is this, a game? <laughs> what is RPG? this, cyberpunk? Fuck! <laughs> I was gonna see that. What the fuck up with cyberpunk, man? <laughs> Goddamn! Yeah, I'll do the fuck up with I like the game. Yeah, shut up with cyberpunk all day, even You're though I was the one that mentioned it. You're fucking <laughs> Lewis right now. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, I need, someone needs to make up for it. He's like a vital part of our crew. We can just toss him out. No, toss him like trash. <gasps> <gasps> bro, that was a weird ass noise. I wonder how that sounded in the mic. Joe's about to pass out from hunger <laughs> if we don't finish. There you go. Okay. She ate like two fucking Mexicans? quesaritos. Quesaritos? Bruh. Extra large. Extra cheesy? Ex- yeah. Uh, the extra came for me. <laughs> 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 Bro. That one burrito you got last time? Hey, we're still on the podcast. I like it. All right. Well, uh, well any other last minute Christmas specials? <clears throat> Actually, what is your favorite uh, Christmas fast food? Christmas fast food? Yeah. What the fuck is that? Like 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 like. Never mind. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to extend it. That, that's why he's not. No, that's. Oh, uh, well, I could extend it. Christmas with fast food, like thing. Just, just say movies. Just say we can include a movie. No. Make movies is for next year. Movies is for next nah, year. Nah, you're fucking fat. I, I want to talk about uh, Buddy the Elf. Yeah, but you gotta save it for next year. Will Ferrell isn't funny. Uh, I said it. I mean, you're kind of right. Yeah. Yeah, he just yells. Yeah, he's like. What about a Nightmare Before Christmas? 
That's a fucking movie, dude. Oh, oh, fuck. A, yeah. Got, yeah, you motherfucker. You can't talk about that shit. Yeah, um, well, what about... All right, guys. No. <laughs> no, we barely talk... <laughs> talking about this shit. Family Guy, then? <gasps> Family Guy. I like the special where... Um, what about Charlie Brown Christmas? Oh, that's not relevant any, relevant anymore because they're not showing that anymore. Yeah, yeah, it is. They are showing it. They should show it. Yeah, nice. I thought they canceled that. Mm-hmm. Why would they cancel it? Uh, because liberals. <laughs> Wait, well, I, I thought I thought I thought Charlie Brown wasn't gonna be aired anymore for some reason. No, I think it, uh, they bought it back for the. Or was that for Thanksgiving? I, I think know. that was for the Thanksgiving one, but they, right. they still bought it back. Oh yeah, because that one's rough. Uh, I see. I see. You did that rough. Bark, fetch, bark, bark. <laughs> I like the fetch with rough, rough men special. Bro, I always wanted where, to be where, in that show. Where, where the kids uh get stranded in fucking Antarctica. What? And yeah. only the strongest survive. <laughs> <laughs> only the strongest. Survive. It's, it's actually yeah, a Survivor series. Fetch only gives them like a, a wooden stick. They're like, yeah, just do whatever you can. <laughs> They're fucking fighting off polar bears with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, penguinos. ¿Qué tal, pingüinita? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> one, one of the characters fucks a penguin. And he, get, he gets his egg and starts walking with it. He's like, hey, look, guys, I'm a penguin. <laughs> oh, it would have oh. That's a movie. Fuck. I was going to say Happy Feet. <laughs> it's like not Christmas Bro, at all. Happy no, Feet. No, that's not even Christmas. <laughs> yeah, that's not even Christmas. Happy uh, Feet, too? That's Christmas. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's not Christmas, right? Happy Feet, too? No, they just are nice. Oh. It's like if Ice Age was a Christmas special. They did have a Christmas special. A Christmas special? Christmas special? Huh? Yeah. Christmas special? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Christmas oh, special? Cool. Oh, yeah, Christmas up. special? <laughs> shut up. Go complain about Cyberpunk, dude. Fucking, he's new I, I will, right now, dude. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me like five minutes, and I'll tell you remember some of my thoughts of. All right, just finish. Wrap up your thoughts about Cyberpunk. Right Cyberpunk now. sucks, and I like it. <laughs> I'm gonna play another thirty Jeez, hours. You're, like, you're a sadist right now. Essentially. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna play another thirty hours. Well, I don't think it's fair for me to shit on it yet. You literally were shitting on it. Oh. What the fuck? Well, like, there? you're just shitting on it for like at, during our break and then like talking and talking well, yeah. about news. But like, you talk shit about the things you like, you know? Oh, hey, go, yeah. Like I'll Tekken. Go. Yeah, go fuck yourself, all those. See? Oh. oh. Like, like, how, like how Tekken sucks. Dude, Tekken sucks, dude. Like, who? You guys like, don't. You guys don't even play. The fuck up. Yeah, we do. I play Tekken Tech Tournament. Bro, it's kind of yeah, like dude. you don't I, play Cyberpunk. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> Pokemon, Tekken. Yeah, I dude. play Smash Bros. Same, same shit. Pokemon. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. Mortal Kombat, dude. Don't, don't, don't tell Tekken. Don't tell Sakurai that he'll be mad because it's like not. It's supposed to be a party game. Fuck what? Tekken oh, a party okay. game? No. Uh, Smash. Damn, that's a, that's that probably the best joke ever. What Tekken? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, expectations for Tekken Eight. Uh, a lot of Christmas themes. Not, actually, not <laughs> be actually, be good. Oh, <laughs> oh you fucking <laughs> slut! Street Fighter X Tekken Two. Oh, it's, it's Tekken Cross Street Fighter. They were just reversing the names. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is the difference? It's supposed to be. I don't know why. It's just like supposed to be three D instead of two D. Because is this Street Fighter X Tekken and this Tekken X Street Fighter? There's yeah. There's supposed to be Tekken X Street Fighter, but before there was Street Fighter Cross Tekken. <laughs> That's not confusing at all, right? It's fantastic. Bro. Yeah. But a lot of people like to forget about the Street Fighter Cross Tech game. Why? Because it's like literally the worst, one of the worst fighting games ever released. Let's get it. Because of Tekken. We should play it. What did it come out for? Uh, 360 PS3. Oh, we should get it. We should play it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, guys. Wait, no, I'm not done yet. Um, I started watching JoJo, everyone. It's pretty good. <laughs> Does JoJo have a Christmas special? No, we already established Oh, did we fuck? Are okay. there any anime Christmas specials? King Tama does. Oh, yeah. King Tama has a Christmas special? Yeah, uh, a lot of them have. Bo- Boku no Pika has a Christmas special. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. It's the second episode. You should watch it. <laughs> Christmas special? That's what I said. Well, what happens in King Tama? Uh, there's like a, there's a snow festival and then uh, a lot of people are making like sculptures. And one of the sculptures is just a fucking penis. Nice. And the balls on the side. Really? And, and they call it uh they call it Louis Armstrong. Louis? Uh, Louis? Louis. Imagine if Louis' his name was Louis Armstrong. <laughs> what? Oh shit. <laughs> I get it. L- Louis Strong Arm. Even better. <laughs> Luis Brazo Fuerte. Brazo Little. Brazo Little. Wait, does Sort Little have a Christmas special? 
No, I thought it was the movies. Yeah, Snowball, because Snow. Fuck. <laughs> Anything with Snow is just Christmas now? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I feel like Sword Little actually has a little uh, Christmas. A now. little? Let's see. A little Christmas? Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to drag this out until, until we find all the Christmas specials in the world. Uh, I like the... Um, did the Cleveland show get a Christmas special? No, they got a yeah, Hanukkah. No, they got a popular, Hanukkah. No, they, they got a Kwanzaa if it was special. Popular, it would have got a Christmas special. They got a Kwanzaa special. Is it really? Probably. I don't know. They're black. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what do Mexicans celebrate? Uh, uh, crossing the border. Damn. damn. <laughs> yeah, you made it. <laughs> <laughs> Ten of fucking. Fuck. And then you work millions of hours and get a little pay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the dream. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, I think that'll be it for our Christmas special podcast. No, wait. JK. <laughs> what, a, what a discussion, dude. Yeah, we, was, we talked about... It was crazy. It was all lot, over the place. It was, all, it was literally all yeah, over the place. Yeah, my parents were talking about how Rudolph is basically... Uh, NSCP? <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, uh, we'll see you guys next time. Hopefully, the, the whole gang will be here. Maybe we'll have a special guest, but but we'll see about that. Uh, anyways, take care, everyone. Have a good holiday and stay safe. Like, subscribe. Since I always forget to say that shit. Yeah, we should probably say that in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, I probably should. Have. I just cut this and then put it in the beginning. Oh yeah, but the yeah, they, I just reverse it. <laughs> <laughs> like, subscribe. <laughs> Somehow they get reversed. Why and they gave you hemorrhoids? <laughs> no. <laughs> the fuck is hemorrhoids? You're probably sitting on that chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that chair would give me a hemorrhoids too. All right, guys. Have you ever had them? They're not fun. Hemorrhoids Bro, too. Bro, what the fuck? Yeah. I would not I got know a, that, and nor would I yeah, want to know that. Yeah, that shit's I, I got a macro. I got, I got a micro tear in my ass one time. A what? A macro tear. Oh. Micro tear? What is that? Like some cyberpunk shit? Yep. Fuck. <laughs> 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 Why you gotta say that shit? I fucking hate you guys. Dude, you'll, ready? You'll micro center? In like cyberpunk. Thirty hours. Fuck yeah, dude. What other names sound like cyberpunk names? Uh, oh, Sparrow. Uh, Sparrow. Johnny Silverhands. Johnny. Do you think it's Walmart and uh, Cyberpunk? Like Walmart. Uh, Walmart. <laughs> Dollar Tree, maybe? Dollar Tree, maybe? Replay? Oh, this replay. Uh, Circuit City. Circuit City? Fun. There's got to be a Circuit City in Cyberpunk. Circuit City. <laughs> yeah, I found, I found a bunch of sex toys in Cyberpunk. Okay, that's, okay, that's, fantastic. Why you that's a fantastic right? way to end it right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> cyber, cyber sex toys. Oh, this is just bad because well, he has beep. Beep. I'm not going to say it. Because I have what? <laughs> <laughs> no, he said he's not going to say it. Fuck, you got me there. All right, guys, that's that's it for the podcast. Um, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye. Bye. All that's butt plugs. Cyberpunk. <laughs>